Did one of you guys kill the other one with a machete here? Jet. Oh, damn it. it says machete. Uh, I'm Paul. This is Blossom House Haunted Hotel. Come on in. Somebody's seen this being moved and then her hair was pulled right there where they're standing at. It's a, ner it's a nurse. No, actually, the only death on record that we have found is somebody that was in their 50s that died of a heart attack. What happened, please? My life was taken. Oh. Okay, guys, so currently I am all alone here on the fourth floor of the building. Oh. Colin? Colin! The devil is real. What the hell is going on? Feel an energy radiating off this thing. Look at what it just said. Right! Oh my god! This place seems really dangerous. Tonight we're at one of the most haunted buildings in all of Kansas City, the Blossom Hotel. This building has a very mysterious and some would say dark past. Now, with some intriguing history, but largely a lot of the history of this place being unknown, the owners of this property are somewhat unsure of what exactly is haunting the building. So join us tonight as we investigate one of the most haunted places here in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm Colin Brown, and you're watching The Paranormal Files. On tonight's episode of the show, we're exploring a place that virtually nobody has heard of in the YouTube community, the Blossom House Hotel in Kansas City, Missouri. You might wonder why we're calling this place one of the most dangerous locations we've ever investigated. Well, just recently, I'm talking like two or three weeks after we filmed our investigation there, the building was shut down by the fire marshals in Kansas City after an explosive news report came out in the Kansas City Star, the biggest newspaper in town, talking about how dangerous it is to be inside of that building and how people shouldn't be walking around there because of how structurally unsound it is. I mean, yeah, th this happened just a couple days ago. We're re-recording our interviews right now because, holy shit, I cannot believe that we were in that building. I mean, the walls are like crumbling in there. The floors are falling apart. You're gonna see in the tour and shit, all of us were like, I cannot believe we're in here. And the place is haunted, there's no doubt about it, but yeah, we're lucky to have gotten out of this episode without any major disaster or emergency happening. I mean, yeah, you're gonna see in this video that this could be our most dangerous of all time. But I first wanted to start out the night by giving Connor and Jeff a tour of Kansas City's most notorious haunted hotels. Now, this is kind of funny because we later on found out that the Blossom House Hotel, as it's marketed online, was never actually a hotel. So we were doing all of this because we thought we were going to a hotel, but yeah, enjoy the tour. These are some pretty cool places and stories. Okay guys, so we are here in Kansas City and before we head to this surprise location that we have planned tonight that you guys don't know anything about yet, I wanted to take you by a specific building here in the heart of downtown Kansas City. This is a very important historic building. The story behind it is extremely disturbing. So, what is it? Well, you're just gonna have to find out. It's actually right there, Connor, if you can zoom in on that. It's that on one, the corner? yeah, the corner <laughs> with the gray. So I guess if you can find somewhere to park it's around here. Just phone good luck on the trailer, man. <laughs> okay, so I want you guys to look behind you and tell me what you think that building is. Uh, Louisiana Transformer. Oh. <laughs> this building behind you was actually the site of the largest and deadliest fire in Kansas City history. Oh, shit. This is the former Coates House Hotel. It's known to be one of the most haunted places in the city. And in the 1970s, this place was almost completely abandoned. The fire started on the south wing of the building in one of the rooms on the upper floors. Yeah, in total, 20 people were killed, mostly by jumping from the top floors and dying on the sidewalk where we were just standing. Gee, that's crazy, man. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's still the deadliest fire in Kansas was, City history. It was the fire was when it was abandoned? No, people were in the hotel. It used to be a grand hotel, lots of people in it, you know, wealthy people would come stay here and it fell into disrepair. 
And then when this fire happened, it was a very cheap hotel. So 100 people went homeless after the fire. And like I said, 40 casualties, most of them by jumping all the way from a place like up there down to here. Crazy. Needless to say, it's also supposed to be haunted. Yeah, now it's apartments. I wonder if the people who live there have any idea what the, what happened. But yeah, I felt like if we're gonna be, maybe at this point you'll be starting to get an idea of the location we're going to tonight. Okay. Any ideas? Apartment? Nope. Hotel? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think we should go visit the other stop that I have planned. We're, we're taking y'all on kind of a spooky tour of Kansas City before our final location tonight. Ooh. Yeah, the Coates House fire. I never would have learned that little piece of history if we hadn't to come down here right now. Yeah, and it's eerie. It's a whole lot of people for a fire. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Next stop. Next stop we go. I thought we'd have to drive to our second location, but we ended up only having to walk. So obviously I think you guys can tell where we're at, right? The Savoy. Yes, the Savoy. So this is known as the most haunted hotel in all of Kansas City and to some, one of the most haunted hotels in the entire state. Now, this hotel has a very interesting history, guys. This bar and grill behind us, the Savoy Grill, this is actually one of the most famous restaurants in the state. There's a specific booth inside of the grill where presidents dine all the time. Gerald Ford, Harry Truman, Ronald Reagan, they've all eaten at this restaurant. They have a specific booth that's saved for the elite. That's also a part of the history of the hotel. Now, one of the original people who was involved in the hotel, a woman named Betsy, died in room 505 of this hotel. It's supposed to be the most haunted room. In addition, a guy who was a dishwasher working at this restaurant was stabbed to death in 1990, and his spirit is said to be haunting the hallways. I mean, this is a, this is a famous, famous haunted location. I mean, what do you guys think? Is this place crazy cool or what? This place yeah, looks very awesome. nice. Cool. Yeah. When we were walking if down If I was here. the president, I would come here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, keep on dreaming. Yeah, vote for me, 2024. <laughs> <laughs> president of the what? Club. Or president of the like douche the club. States. <laughs> oh, yeah, States. Okay. I'm going Half douche club. <laughs> <laughs> but I think by now, you guys probably have an idea of what we're going to investigate tonight, right? Yes. 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 Okay. It's going to be a hotel. Yes. Hotel. We have an entire four story haunted hotel to ourselves tonight here in the heart of Kansas City. Mm -hmm. It's actually okay. only a half a mile away from where we're at right now. So, not surprise. Bad. Yeah. Not bad. That's our surprise. At this point, I say we head over there and check in. Hopefully, at the end of the night, guys, we can still check out. Ooh. 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 You ready? Oh. <laughs> so it was really cool seeing all these haunted hotels that were in Kansas City. So much history behind those buildings, but I really wanted to go see what we were going to investigate tonight, the Blossom House. We really had no idea what we were getting ourselves into, but we were definitely on edge. Okay guys, so you already guessed it. Tonight I'm bringing y'all to a haunted hotel here in Kansas City. The kicker is we have the entire building to ourselves. It's called the Blossom House, okay. and it is a notoriously haunted location, and it supposedly has some allegedly darker paranormal activity occurring inside. So, oh, okay. I've never been here. You guys have never been here. I stayed here back in the 80s. <laughs> oh, yeah. So as you can see, we're kind of in the more industrial part of Kansas City. A lot of these buildings are abandoned. I mean, they've been abandoned for a very long time. And the Kansas City used to be, had a way higher population, a lot of industry here. That's it right there. <laughs> Whatever the hell that building is, is uh, very creepy, man. Wait, is that actually? I think that's it. Oh my God, that is the hotel. Yeah. No way. Oh. Yo. Oh my I just God. told him that looks creepy. <laughs> you got, we got yeah. that on camera. Bro, what is that? Look at all these buildings though. Wow. All of them, all of them are trash. Wow, man. I don't think people are coming around this part of town no more. No. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, this is an interesting part of town. Ironically, the building that I just said looked creepy as shit is actually the building that we uh, have that, rented tonight. It, right and there, there it is, right in front of us. Wow. Dude, I'm getting a weird feeling already. Just like, oh, look at coffee. that. 
I mean, dude, that's unsafe. I would say. <laughs> this has got to be one of the creepiest looking buildings what? we've been to in a while, and it's all ours for tonight. I can't believe we got the whole thing. Nobody was running rooms tonight. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, no vacancy. <laughs> Okay, guys, well... Look at all those open windows. Yeah, I mean, with hotels, there's so many stories to be told. Okay, where is this guy, huh? I don't know, but there it is right there, Blossom. Okay, guys, well, we're gonna park, go meet the owner, and... F dude, this is crazy, man. Okay, see you soon. Okay. So, we first met with Paul. He's one of the location owners of the Blossom House, and... Immediately when we got there, Paul wanted to sit us down and show us some of the evidence that he's captured on his cameras that he leaves running inside of the building. And I'm being honest here, some of those videos are terrifying and I have no rational explanation for them. So just check this out and let me know in the comments or in the chat if you're watching live what you think of all this. This is the one in the daytime and you want to watch right here. Uh, shout. No, it's a... Uh, Right there. It's a full bodied apparition. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, uh, according to a medium, it's a, nur it's a nurse. And she's running through and holding her bonnet like this. It, I had to take it home to my 70 inch screen TV before I even saw this. Because it happened so fast. So the GoPro would have set it up right over here. And it just catches it for a split second. That, I mean, that's how fast it's moving. And then all this is how half as fast as it moves right there wow. and, and where it's moving to is uh well now we have stairs right behind this tarp but before when this was taken uh we just had a ladder in a hole and then there's windows all through here and you can well if this dang thing wasn't popped up like this you could see the shadow and where it ends so it just like fades out and then uh now just keep an eye here because when it re-kicks it will play right through and this is how fast it moves wow yeah so it, it would have triggered insane. it would have triggered the GoPro right in here and it wow. it plays for thirty seconds if you notice. This is a thirty yeah. second long video and just for a split second it's on there. Now that's gotta be a little shocking to see. Yeah, the thing is is back then I was just setting cameras up throughout the building, not even taking note of where they were at, just seeing if I caught anything and I didn't look at this video on the S D card for maybe two, maybe even three months before I even started reviewing them just to see. And then I saw, you know, I'm like, well, what did that pick up, you know? And you know, I couldn't see it on the normal TV or on just my laptop. So I'm like, all right. So I took it home and looked at my 70 inch screen TV and I'm like, whoa, you know, that's pretty cool. Then this was last Halloween. And what happened was I had a black lady had like four kids that she wanted to bring here, but she didn't want to come alone. So she was asking if there's anybody else that I could put her with so that they could go with them. And then I had some people from Fort Scott that were coming up for a girl's birthday and they, she was gonna go parachuting and they wanted to do something else before they went home. So I made sure that both of them didn't care that, and put them together. And then this is what happened and this is after the tour. And what you wanna do is watch right here and you'll, you'll see in here. Okay, those, those things are running through in the pitch dark. And there's more than just that. Like right here, I can't figure this out at all. If you notice her walking with two people in front of her, or whatever it is, her headlamp should be lighting up their hair or their clothes or something. Another weird thing is the light. Now the duck looking thing is the reflection from that light shining on the trail cam. But the weird thing is, is how high up the light is. I can't reach the top of those windows. And that's where it starts from. And if you watch, it will, they separate. Now that's the girl, the first one that runs through. And people are like, oh, that's just a girl with a, with a ponytail or something. That's a pretty oblong head. That's up there with Stewie Griffin, you know what I mean? And she's got something on her backside. Now the second one, I cannot even get anything but a blur right there. And nobody's got a head face like that. Um, Wait, so are you saying that ponytail person wasn't there? No, they weren't there. I mean, I and trust what? me, none of them would have been running oh, like that. Just... Oh, no, and I'll show you here in a second off the video cameras of where they were running through in the middle. I mean, I can't even go through this place without... I tried it once and missed the last three stairs and had to do a tuck and roll upstairs. They don't have flashlights. 
No, they did. The girl has the headlamp. I'm but saying it's, like the little figures no, are running. No, no, not know. at all. <laughs> and what's weird is here where she comes through, you can't really see the people in front of her when it's when you're going slow. Yeah. But she should be lighting them up, and then at the end, right here, she steps into them. That that shadow or whatever it is is halfway through her body right there. And then she turns and then someone comes back with a real flashlight and lights everything up. And I know it's after I gave the tour because they're going the opposite direction that I walk people through the building. And then I'll just play it again so you can see it. Yeah, it's a good one. So it's Both of those? Yeah. And then these two here, I don't know if they're really people. But see, she steps into them right there. I mean, wow. that, she is like passing them. Yeah. And it should be lighting them up one way or another. I mean, you should be able to see their hair or something. So that part's of it's weird too. Not to mention the light. That light just where it separates right there. You know, as that, in, as that thing runs by. It's kind of freaky too, as high as it starts out. Huh. And uh, Apex thought that it was actually a reflection. And I'm like, no, the reflection's the duck looking thing from it. Because huh. every time anybody shines their light, that's the reflection it kind of puts off is that little side deal like this right here. Bald form. Yeah. I mean, it's just a weird one. And I, I sent them a text, and she's like, no, I don't want to see it. She's like, I don't want to see it at all. Because, I mean, they were just petrified anyway, yeah. you know, and I and I, I try to allow people, you know, I've had to go up and get people before uh, or piggyback them down the ladder because they were too scared to come down. I mean, the first tour I gave, the whole reason I even started doing the tours is because of how much he caught on just his cell phone that night. I mean, it was just amazing. I'll tell you about more of him uh, up on the fourth floor and stuff. Okay, now this happens in three seconds. I have no idea where it's at. I used to think it was right up here by where the nurse was seen. But now I'm thinking it, it's up on third floor because it's a curved footboard of a bed. And we got one up there too. And you'll want to watch right in here. And you'll be able to hear him land. Did you hear him land? That yeah. Okay, I'll play it again. Just watch right here. So what, he what? Does, what this happens is, what I think happens is he jumps from one floor to another floor and then just sinks right into the floor. On my big screen TV, it actually looks like when he lands that he goes head to head with another entity. And he steps back and for the longest time, probably I've showed this video 150 times and I just now saw that where it looks like he's swinging a stick back in and right here, right there. I was thinking that was a double-edged sword but I think he's swinging it so fast that it starts to look like a tracer of a weapon. Hmm. And then he lands right there. And then that's where it looks like he's going head to head with another entity. And he steps back. And then he comes forward. See that stick right there? Hmm. So I think he's swinging that again. And then he just goes forward. And now I'll talk about the helmet or the head area here in a second, but for the longest time, I thought this was a Native American because right here, this is all the further I'd stop it, and it looked like a, it looked like a bow and arrow mm -hmm. on it. But then, if you take it further, like right there, that's a full shield. The problem is, is someone was telling me, I was thinking maybe conquistador, but according to someone mm -hmm. that was here, they wouldn't have had metal shields back then. So the only people that would have had metal shields would have been Romans or somebody that had, to, you know. So that kind of goes to the deal to where the medium that was here said that this place is a sanctuary for the, for entities. And then it just goes right into the floor. Three seconds this happens. Three seconds, which is wow. fast as anything. Now, if you look at the head, like right at the first, like right there, it kind of looks like he's got a buffalo head on. And back in the day, you know how Indians would mm -hmm. sneak up on their enemies wearing animal cloaking. But then it changes to like a coyote or a wolf head right in there. See how it looks kind of? 
I think I went too far. Right there. See how it looks like he's wearing a coyote head? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it goes to metal. Now, I know back in the day when they went to battle, they would put strike plates on the back of their heads so that people wouldn't bash their heads in during battle. And at first I was like, well, maybe it's a samurai because they were here back in the Western time and they had helmets that had faces on the back of them also. And then a few people, my friends, were thinking, well, he's going backwards, you know, down into it. But he's definitely not going backwards. And then he's right there, he just sinks right in. And now that you know, I'll play it, I'll play it in full for you so you can see. And if you can't see here, you can probably see it on the laptop better. Wow. Three seconds. That's, That's three crazy. seconds. Yeah, I mean, and I don't know, it must have been a trail cam because it starts and stops with the action of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the GoPro would kept going until the 30 seconds was up. And remember, I'm showing you these in order of what I find significant. And mm -hmm. we got like several more to go here. Now this one, I'm just going to show you one of these clips, but there's three different clips of this. And it happened one night at one time, then the next night, an hour after the first night, and then again an hour later on the second, and then the third night, I'll show you what happens. They took out a trail cam. I mean, it fried it. But if you see these little energies here, the first night they were very, you couldn't even hardly see them. To me, it looks like there's two right here, one walking, and it almost looks like a female crawling up towards the uh, trail cam. But uh, one of the people that came here thought it looked like one entity walking up right here. But to me, it looks like somebody's crawling and someone's right behind it. But I mean, that's just my perception of it. And now this is what happened on the third night. And you'll just see, it doesn't need any explanation. What? You mean the actual light? Yeah. Not this. Yeah, I wish no. It, I wish the trail cam wouldn't have fried out because I could, I would be able to see how long that lit up. See, at, at 8.37 a.m. here, you'd be able to see everywhere you go are upstairs. Mm -hmm. The only places you need a light still would be the basement and this floor. So I know the time is wrong. And then if you look in the back here, when it first comes out, you can see an entity right here. In the well, now it's a stairway. That's actually the stairs. But when it comes down, it splits right there. It either goes through or goes uh, beside it. And we know it's not a laser or a flashlight. What a flashlight would be lighting everything up. And a laser, you'd be able to see the beam shooting out of it. That's crazy. And then it goes out and then comes down and then it shoots through the wall and then it splits, it either goes through or splits that support beam. And to me, it looks like two things are forming here. One's kneeling down and one's standing up. And if you watch it come down, it comes right down the side and right into the trail cam. Mm. And the trail cam will turn on, but it just reads 8888 across it and you can't reset it and you can't turn it off. So you have to take the batteries out of it to even get it to go. And see, I would just love to know how long that light stayed lit up like that or what even lit it up. But yeah, as soon as the sun comes up, you'll be able to see you walk through this whole building. Uh, now, when the sun starts to set, it's a little different story. It goes darker a lot sooner. Okay, now, have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'm going to show you a real-life Dragon Ball Z. And I first debunked this as me wearing a, a triple-beam uh, headlamp. Uh, but then I can't do what he does right here. I can't do a side flip like this at all. I'd love to say I could. For two, a flashlight will light up the whole floor. And I'll show you that when I turn on my flashlight upstairs. And I think this is the reason we don't have any bad entities in this building. Because I have been ran out of here twice. Just the first time was a feeling that I should not be here, you know, or any human being should be here. And some people say that the orbs that you see have people faces in them. And somebody said that it looks like they're two eyes of a wolf. To me, if there were going to be eyeballs, it'd be like an owl's eye. Okay, there he is. See him right here? And some people mm -hmm. say that he's got a skull head on. 
And I'll, if you watch his shoulders, the light moves with yeah, him. You can really see him there. How about that? Wow. Anything like uh, possibly an alien? Who knows? Been brought up? I did have a, uh, I did have a, a video of a pixie fairy. And I was thinking of a fairy. And I actually lost, it sucks as I lost it, but I was able to show some people before. I added a fifth camera and it ate up into my gigabytes too soon. But outside, I'll, I'll show you where the pixie fairy, there was a flash of light, and then this thing flew through the wood, the plywood that's barricaded up there, and then flies up like this. I mean, and it looks, it's a four winged thing, mm. and it actually looks like a, a person, flying little bitty person. It's pretty cool, but I have other videos that I've saved now that I need to re go back over to see if I can catch them. But anytime I paused it, you could not, it's always blurry. But watching the full thing, everybody's like, wow, yeah. And just the fact that it had a flash of light and then it flew out of the wood was pretty cool. Yeah, and some people say he's got it's a skull head. I think it might be a headdress, but uh, I've never even considered the alien thing. But the light, I mean, no flashlight has orange in it. But if there was a flashlight that bright, I'd love to have it. But it doesn't even block the camera, you know, like a reflection back off of it whenever it shines at it. But that's just like that main character on Dragon Ball Z that yeah. <laughs> shoots out that energy beam. Okay, now, you ready for the creme de la creme? I'm ready. I'm ready. This uh, was back last year, September. One of my friend's friends wanted to do something for their, her daughter's 16th birthday. And so he called me and said, hey, she doesn't have any money. Do you mind if they come there and do a, a ghost hunt? I'm like, sure. So. The, she also raises this other girl, and they're right up here. And what they did was they went back up to look to see if a picture that was downstairs of a wedding dress is the same that's on a mannequin right off the screen here. And this girl, KK, is going to walk this way, and then D, the lady, is going to shine her light on the support beam right here at the time. And you might look here, too, because somebody's seeing shadow dart through here. But now KK's going to turn and walk back to her. Now watch right there. You want to see that again? Yeah. Was so no one was there. No, there. She. That's KK walking. But now watch. She's gonna turn. She lights up the pole. Now watch. She either becomes transparent, or her shadow goes on one side and she goes on the other of that pole. I'll play it one what? minute. Yeah. It took me 50 oh, yeah, times for showing yeah. this video before I saw it. Now she's gonna turn, and. Okay, now the one part I can't understand is how KK gets from here over to here with no flashlight on. And even D, she does kind of a weird stepping thing right through here. But now when D gets over here, her light is going to shine on a picture that makes it look like one of the things here has a headlamp on. And it isn't. The set person in over here is not a person. And just watch right here. Want to see that again? Yeah. This is KK here. This is not. Oh. Okay, now I'll just let the rest play. Oh, it's just beginning. Look, my hairs are standing up from it. I love this part. Oh, oh my wow, God. Wow, really? Yeah, now we'll just keep watching. Now, what they're messing with Seriously? is the portal. This is, remember I was telling you about the portal the medium was talking about and it had a guardian? Uh -huh. This is why I will tell you that, yes, it's got a portal and, yes, there's a guardian. It never matches up to her. I think the shadow thought they were going to keep walking, and so it turned to go with them. But it never matches up with her movement. It shape shifts a few times. But this isn't the coolest part of the whole video, in my opinion. The coolest part's at the very end of it. Ooh. See, it grows a goatee, and now it's going to step back away. And here it goes again with a wavy arm. It's almost like it's trying to get the portal closed or, or something from them. I mean, I've never seen anything like this on any of the any shows or nothing. Oh, wow. Okay, now, here's the best part of this whole video. What do you not see anymore? Shadows. No shadows whatsoever. Their lights are still the same. Nothing. That, to me, is the best part of the video because it proves everything that that was not of this world entity. Do the whole thing. 
Now they they're going to walk up here, and I was just kind of look. I got to watch this live. They had no idea any of that was happening, not a clue. They had no That's idea. Crazy. So when they came downstairs, I'm like, you got to see this. Yeah. You know, mm. but so they're going to walk up here, and there's a mirror right here on the wall, and I just happened to catch it out of the corner of my eye, and it looks like a lady in white. So the next night, they go back up to debunk it, and I mean, this is a 15 and 16 year old girl that go back up by themselves to debunk it. And I got grown men that, that leave here early, you know? <laughs> I mean, and we don't have any mean ghosts or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some things that have happened that make them show people that, hey, if we wanted to, we could really hurt you if we wanted. But they, they really don't like to be referred to as mean or evil. You should see right here, which you can, you understand why out of the corner of my eye, I thought it was a lady in white. But they did debunk it as being, you see it's lined up with this, with the uh, elevator shaft. So I was like, no way could that be them, you know, shining on it. But right here, you see it come through. But did I miss it already? Is it a white yeah, did you kind see of flash? It? Yeah, I yeah. Think it was it's just like a, it's them walking up, they're up in the far north corner. And when they come this way, it just catches them in the mirror somehow at the angle. Now I'll show you one more, and this is them going up the next night to debunk the mirror deal. And I'm showing it because we have a big guy up on fourth floor. And I mean, when I say big, he's big. I mean, and I'll show you a picture of him up on second floor. But KK, or Juliet, the one whose birthday it was, she was crashed out on the couch by the time they went back up at 6.30. And I'm gonna fast forward this because when they go to debunk it, she blocks the camera. Okay, now watch right here. And you're gonna see the shadow of the big guy is what I think it is. And then you'll wanna watch over here for shadows walking the opposite way away from you. Watch right here, it's getting ready to come. And here he comes. Hmm. You wanna see that again? Yeah. See, and even there you can see the reflection of the mirror from them walking down. Now, after you see this, you want to pay attention right in over here. And they're going to be, she's explaining to what happened with the doll and everything. But you'll see some shadows run away from them. And then one that's kind of moving with her, but then it, it's way away and it goes even lower than she is reaching for the doll. And here he comes. Now, you'll see a few shadows run the opposite way. See how when it came, mm. it was behind the other shadows? Right. They get, there went another one, walked off. Now this one goes scooping in, and then there'll be one more that comes way from back here and now goes way low, right there. I mean, it goes like way below her even. And then you'll see when they leave, watch right here. Did you see that dark shadow? Mm -hmm. That's not one of theirs. That's one way you can really tell on if it's them or something else because the shadows are way darker. I mean, from every video we've watched, anything that had shadow play, the shadows are way darker. Like during the day when Marie Jackson was here with her brother setting up cameras, her brother turns and, and looks behind him three times. But as we start to go like this, out of the corner comes a dark shadow. And then when he stops one of the times by one of the support beams, the shadow goes on. And his shadows just, he stopped right there. And then we go and turn, but you see our shadows against the wall like this, and then you see one cut across. <laughs> and then it runs back around, back away from us. So it's pretty cool. People have had experiences that I haven't had, you know, and of course I've had the most experiences being here because I used to stay here. Back in this back corner, I've had some come right over my shoulder and just go, Pah! you know, right there. I'm like, cool, that's very <laughs> cool, you know. But uh, other people, it freaks them out. I've had friends that, made me leave with him because they saw a head looking down at him from the ladder. And the, my first instinct is to shine the light up there to see. But for like the first six months, I would run outside to see who was talking or run up the stairs to see who broke in until I just realized, you know, they're here. You know, they're just not in the living part of it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been oh, pretty shit. cool. I'm ready to see the damn hotel. Yeah, it's but you know, high. the best people who have been here have actually been the skeptics. Because yep. they're not expecting something to jump out around them. Even though I have a guy from Texas <coughs> that came here during Halloween with a girl who was all excited about it. 
and she was a believer. And then uh, I, I don't loan my flashlights out anymore, especially after this, but people wouldn't return them to me. You know, so I would be losing flashlights left and right, but this guy, a skeptic, was such a skeptic that he melted my flashlight because he left it on so long, so it <laughs> melted the inside of it. And he's like, I don't know why I quit working. And he handed back to me, I said, well, it's melted. You know, I mean, didn't you not feel it getting all hot, you know? And so, but I have him on video to where, well, I, I had like 400 gigabytes of video footage that if you come across a red Altoids can, please grab it and bring it to me because it's got 400 gigabytes of footage. <laughs> and I don't know if the ghosts are playing hide and seek with it because they will do that. So make sure with your stuff, that you have that if you separate you might want to come up with a code word because we have what i call mimics and they will sound just like you glenn all the time when i'm not even here and i'm down in harrisonville he'll hear somebody coming up the stairs and be talking to him and think it's me talking back and then no one's there so i just recommend that so you're not fooling yourself on talking to someone because more than once people have been like who are you talking to and we're like we're answering your questions they're like we're not saying nothing you know so Oh, here's the train. Yep, <laughs> that's a good thing, you know. So after seeing all those videos, it really had me nervous about what we might be coming into contact with that night. I was really freaked out. I mean, I really don't want to see a shadow man following me around in the basement. That doesn't seem very fun. So after all that, it was time for our tour of the building. I was really excited to dig into the meat of the Blossom House and figure out exactly what had happened in that hotel that was causing such crazy paranormal activity. I mean, we've had people tell us that this place, Kansas City locals, tell us that this place is haunted. It's, it's freaky. So what's causing that? Well, I guess through this tour, we're about to find out. Uh, I'm Paul. This is Blossom House Haunted Hotel. Come on in. Perfect. Yeah, I always have to have keys on me because when I shut the door, sometimes it's locked, <laughs> even though it's open. Thank you. And the only thing I can say is watch your step. The building is under construction, and this is like our private staff of work, and I just moved all this out here because we got all that open. So you're more than <laughs> welcome to go back here and sit and chill out. But the reason I'm going to start here, I'll give you the choice of I just let people go in the basement by themselves because I've never had an experience down there everyone else under the sun has but this is why down there is why i think it's the original fort of kansas city now the reason we're here is because i was down here cutting out the rest of the uh elevator cart when this door got thrown down at me and it came from the fourth floor it uh, got thrown at you yeah have you ever seen die hard yeah okay you know where they blow the elevator shaft uh -huh. and that door goes bing 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 yeah well before that came down i felt debris and kind of heard it and so I'm yelling up to Glenn, who is up on fourth floor painting. And there's a guy in like a wooden barrel or like an old fashioned wood wheelbarrow dumping debris out at me. And there's like three uh, two by fours and a three foot steel bar that was right there holding the elevator in. And then this door came down. And of course, I shot up out of that elevator and I don't go in the elevator shaft anymore without someone watching my butt. If it would have been five more minutes later, I would have been running a Sawzall and would never have heard it. So, and the pole land, the three foot pole landed right there where the ladder's at. Uh, but I don't blame him because I think it was the big guy and I think he was the original elevator, which means he was lowering and raising up whatever they needed upstairs. And we found, found receipts for 1300 bags of a hundred pound seed. So if you can imagine being that person, I would be upset too if someone was cutting apart the thing that relieved me of that job. And like I told you, there's mannequins. I'm sorry for that. I wish <laughs> we didn't have any of them. Uh, and there's no floor that hasn't had a haunted deal. This back corner over here is where I had the uh, person right over my shoulder go, Paul. Oh. Yeah, which was pretty cool. Yeah. And now all the furniture you see up here, we brought up a ladder. We just now have these stairs put in. And actually the guy that was helping the, the person we hired cut his arm up from down to the bone. Wow. He was cutting a board and he let go of the board, which I actually checked the footage because he was being a grump and kind of rude. So I was afraid that maybe one of the entities had gotten rid of him. But after everything was cleaned up, we have a motion sensor crow. And after I came back in from cleaning up all the blood and they were gone, the crow was just going off constant, caw, 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 caw. And I had to ask him to stop because it was driving me nuts. Now you see the boards on the floor that are above it? 
watch those because that's where we've fallen through. Okay, and it's usually, it's just mainly on this side of the elevator. Okay, and right here is where that lady in white or the nurse was running through. And she was running right towards that hole whenever the stairs weren't there. And then this is our first room. You're more than welcome to uh, go in there and chill. You might put a camera on this bed, make it first, because I made it earlier today and it's already messed up again. What? Yeah, it's constant. What do you mean? Well, you see where it looks like someone's laid in it again? Yeah. That's what I mean. You Every made time. it earlier today? Yeah. Like five o'clock earlier today. And it's wow. already messed up again. So, and I even put the white thing there not too long ago just because to make sure that it wasn't something else. And every time it's either curled up or there's an indention in it or something like that. But this bed and uh, one of the fourth floor beds is the way it was. Back during the war, oh, that's our <laughs> throw. Oh, and if you hear him, he'll go off all the time with no one down here. I just had to change his batteries earlier today because he was just going and then it'd stop. <laughs> but back in the war days, all these buildings down here were used to make jeeps and tanks. The building behind us, the story was that they actually made ammunition there and it's no longer standing and the deal was that it blew up is the story behind it. And I had to kind of believe that because I found what I thought was a meteor, but all it was was melted brick and steel together. So, you know, it got pretty hot. And then all the changes you'll see like this, this uh, steel platform here, the sheet would have been put in by the military. And then like we have sliding doors like that one there that connected all the buildings that the military would have put in back then also. And we'll, we have another one up on third floor that I'll show you. But I did have someone just recently say that this place originally, well, there's one more map that they can pull out, but before it was a uh, candy factory before, which Glenn had found out that he thought it was a chocolate factory, but now we know that it was actually a candy place for a while and maybe wholesale grocers. But I think maybe they got that confused with the building down here because it uh, actually has associates on it, but it says associate schoolers. So it's hard telling. And then all the furniture, like I said, is all, was all brought up that ladder. And a lot of the antique stuff was sight unseen. And watch out, you got a race yep. part back there. And we have no clue why they put this slat of concrete in. And I'll show you the big guy. If you look right here in the fourth floor window, you can see him here too. He takes up the whole window. I don't know if that will be good enough for you to see. Let me put that up there. And you see that through your mm -hmm. camera? He takes up the whole window. Now, that doesn't look very big from out here, but when we get up to fourth floor, I'll show you how big he was <laughs> because he's humongous. And that's that shadow in that one picture where mm -hmm. at the very last of the video. And then just watch your step. Uh, like I said, there's mannequins like this. Now, the little doll sitting in that lap, I had one person say that as they were walking off, they just happened to look back and the doll's head had turned and looked towards them. But I can't verify that because it's never happened to me. And then the elevator used to be there. I took that all apart. And one of the stupidest things I did was take a sledgehammer to the control panel because I found out that fuses this big were worth $2,500. Yeah, so that's a lot of money down the drain. Uh, the brick, I have no idea why they would have put that in. And then these, we think, is how they put samples down the chutes to be here because they have these right here. And I'd say that they were uh, sample bins for farmers. Because when it was the Rudy Patrick Weed Seen Field Building, you got to think that every level had different types of field in it, you know, like, say, corn seed or whatever. And they would have had to keep it perfectly seasoned so it wouldn't spoil or start growing. And all this wood is redwood from California. Wow. Yeah, it's only $20 a foot to replace it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and in this cage, the, the girls that were in the shadow thing that I showed you, the mom was sitting over here, and she swears that this reached out and grabbed her. And when we looked back, it was moving. But, you know, no one saw it besides her reaching out, besides it moving. And then this is where those people ran through, right through here. Everything's in the normal spot. So you see the quick journey down to the first floor. Oh my God. Yeah, they would have been on that side. Right here, they would have had this in their way and not missed it. And you saw how fast they were running. I can't walk through here without a light. So I don't know how they would have been able to run. And they didn't match up to anybody. So, and then unfortunately, the people who owned this before us, and there's that door that got thrown down. Oh. 
Wow. And then this was on top of the door. And the thing is, is we can't find a match to that. And usually everything in here. Now, if I would take one of these off, one of these panels, mm -hmm. it looks brand new in there. It's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Just because it's pretty, you know. And then, as you see, all the furniture, they're all <laughs> antiques. There's been a lot of REM pod stuff here. This carpet freaks me out because sometimes it feels like I'm walking across concrete or uh, quicksand. And then I've actually sat here and watched this from camera right there be sunk in and then raised back up. And if you notice, I got it smoothed out is because I wanna, I'm always seeing different like marks where people are sitting on it. <laughs> and it happens all the time. Well, that's kind of creepy. And then this is Geronimo. He's been with us the whole time. And then Glenn went to an auction, bought this authentic drum, and this that was in a bar for 50 years. And this is a, one of the chiefs that helped defeat Custard and was on the Trail of Tears. That came right through here, if you know anything about the Trail of Tears, mm -hmm. where they took a lot of Indians there. And when he brought that here, the tension in this building was so freaking thick, it's not even funny. And then Glenn, when he started to get experiences, because it was a long time, he used to go, oh, we might have a few ghosts down in the basement. And I was like, yeah, right. Uh, we got ghosts everywhere. But he would never be in the building when I was gone. He would wait. He'd be out on the dock waiting for me to get back before he'd come inside. But that's the bed down there that uh, he experienced somebody sitting on the bed, and it was so heavy it rolled him towards him. So, <laughs> yeah. And that was one of his, one of his best uh, experiences. And then watch, your, watch through here. And I'm just walking you over here to show you a couple of things. Is here's a book of the rail cars that used to go through Kansas City, which a lot of people don't know. We had a rail system that went all the way around. And this is the flood of 03 and 51. And the water was so tall, it was, it was up to our awning. Wow. Yeah, and all these buildings have basements in them. So it would have had to fill the basements and then come up here. But a lot of change. Now, if Glenn was here, he could go right to the picture of our building. But there's one picture here that looks like a pig walking across the water and it's actually walking on top of a rail car and you're more than welcome to look through that all you want and this i show now we don't have any fetishes but this is why i tell glenn he should really look inside things before he buys them and check out the history because all this stuff was already in here but this is why i opened it up to show you so you can imagine how old this hope chest is wow so it's hard telling what all family it's been in and everything like that. And it's still in cherry condition. Now, when we got it here, right up here was a perfect butt mark of someone sitting in. I mean, as perfect as you could see the jean pockets, the design on the jean pockets on both. And then it's just gone away now. And then this was Glenn's grandpa. And this is from Germany. And it's carved out of resin. And this is gone. The ear's gone because it was my dog was trying to smell its butt. And so I picked it up and was chasing him. He just turned around and bit the ear off real quick. <laughs> and uh, now there's a kid who did a, uh, a podcast. He did a whole series of all the haunted houses around or haunted places. And uh, he called it a uh, ghost tober. And when he did his, this, he has, he talks about this wig being down on the ground and it's never had a problem staying up on the dog every time I replace it. But I just show it cause I think it's pretty good artwork for, from Germany, but if his grandpa liked it a lot, he could have attached himself to it. You know, is right. another reason I show it. I like a lot of this stuff that's in the building. Now, speaking of the hot and taxi guy, I will actually tell this because I saw this. He was using a heat sensor, and this used to be over there on the other side of the elevator shaft, and it's a balloon. Okay, he was brought it across to his daughter and her head, and then this, and this was just as bright as her daughter, his daughter's head was which freaked me out. And then parts of the ceiling were bright red and some of it was blue, like cold blue. So that's the only reason I point that out. If you want to see how heavy that door is, they got thrown down. That's one like it right there. It, they're actually, they got three or two hinges in them because when the elevator would come up, if they didn't pull them up, they, they were where they could lift them and attach them to the side of the wall of the elevator shaft. If not, then the elevator could come up and they would just do this and the elevator would go on up and then they would close back down. And then you might want to sit in this hammock because uh, people will say they hear footprints coming up on them. And then in, during Halloween season last year, 
some, I had a trail cam sitting over in that window facing this way. And as people went past it, there was like a mist person like set up on that. And then an orb went straight up to the, to the ceiling from the exact same spot, which was pretty cool. And then I just recently, I got, I got to find where I put it. But Glenn came up here and took a rest for like 25 minutes or so in the hammock. And when he got up, as he's walking off, you can hear a different voice going, he's coming or something like that. I got to listen to it with headphones on so I can hear it exactly. So that was pretty cool, the most recent one. Now this board looks like it's crappy, but it's it fine. Uh, I had some an ex that all the old boarding was on the floor, and she had a genius idea to bring a metal rake up here and rake it all up. Mm. Uh, which, when we had a leaky ceiling real bad, it just went right through this floor, which really sucked. Just avoid this corner here. Mm, yeah, uh, go figure. Yeah, the people that owned it before us were scrappers. So there's a lot of stuff that they took out of the building, like where they have the awning attached to the building used to have brass stars on them. Really? Yeah, and they took every one of them. Uh, somebody's seen this being moved and then her hair was pulled right there where they're standing at there, which was weird because she went like this and white stuff fell out of her hair. But when we looked on the floor, there was nothing there. And she was very sensitive. She did some pretty cool things upstairs. Uh, Comic-Con was in, uh, or cosplay, whatever it is, was in town, and not the cartoon ones, but uh, like the goth ones, I guess you would call it. I had two people here. One was like a biker guy, and the girl was really gothed out, but he sat on this swing over here, which you're more than welcome to, but he invited anyone that wanted to to sit with him. Well, when he got up, it was like three after, and it didn't quit moving until 17 after. And it didn't just like evenly swing, it would stop and then one side would go like this, like someone was sitting in a swing, swinging on their own and his girlfriend was sitting in the hammock watching the whole thing. And she's like, wow, I wonder how long this is gonna go, but I have it all on video, so wow. that's pretty cool. So this building was never an actual hotel? No, we're turning it into a hotel. Okay. And it's just the two of us, so it's taken some time, you know, <laughs> but uh, I was just like, and this is uh, one of the pictures of the Union Station. There's Model A and Model T's in it, which I find to be cool. And we have an opening day picture upstairs. And then this mask here, Glenn bought, is actually from Africa. So you never know what's with it. Now, this is the fourth floor. And where people will tell you there's most activity. Now, the reason I'm stopping right here is because if you see this pole, how warped it is, Okay, I was giving a tour to one of my ex friends who is a he's a one percenter and then his friend is also a one percenter and he's bigger than me and the, his buddy's even bigger than he is. Well, I was probably about where she is and all of a sudden I hear bang. I turn around and my friend just goes, it wasn't me. And his friend down on the landing who probably saw it all goes, I'm out of here. And he turned around and he went down and according to our girlfriends, he went right between them out the door into his car and hasn't been back since. But what had happened was this board was out to here, laying like this, so you know somebody didn't push it or it'd be laying like this. You know, the butt end of it would still be out there. But it was six paces this way and it never moved. And as warped as it is, as you can see from here, it should have rocked or done something. And so I see something laying in this bed that had like a straw head on or something. I'm like trying to walk up on my friend goes, Come on, let's go. So I said, hang on, don't you see that in the bed? It looks like they got a straw hat on. He's like, no, come on, let's go downstairs. So I knew he was afraid to go by himself. So I went <laughs> ahead and went down with him. But I know that his buddy that was right there seen everything. So I think that he saw an entity, the big guy, grab this and throw it down, showing my friend who I think had done something to the building or against me and Glenn that we don't know about. And he was letting him know that, hey, they might not know about it, but we can protect this building if we really wanted to. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of because my friend would say that when he was outside, he would feel like a heartbeat, like just staring down at him, being upset with him from the third or fourth floor. And then that picture I showed you of the big guy where he's taking up the whole window, this is the window. Oh. I have an eight and a half foot reach and he's at the very top of this window. Wow. And he wouldn't have been standing on the window so you'd be able to see his legs and everything. Now, the haunted taxi guy, I hate to bring him up again, but 
this is what he said I said was one of many portals and I've never said that except for the video I showed you of the doll uh, which now you see why I said that that would be a portal uh, yeah. for and has a guardian but when I gave the first tour to the ugly hotel people who came here to buy doors we walked through this way just like we are now and nothing had really happened but when we came down I just happened to hit my light off the wall and it went in to the mirror it didn't bounce off it went into it and I'm like did you see that and he's like yeah let me take some pictures and so I kept bouncing it off and then it, this is like a fish story because it's only happened with me and him so at least I know someone else saw it but something inside the mirror stood up turned around and looked at us and he's like I'm trying to get pictures I'm trying to get pictures and he's getting closer and I'm like well you might want, not want to get that close and it just turns around and sets down but then what should have been here two things in there came up the stairs and walked over to it bent down like this and then looked at us and that's when I said dude it's time to go you know it's all fun and games when one thing's looking at you but when something comes up and talks to that and then looks at you you probably should leave <laughs> so this is the only thing that I recommend that no one gets around or messes with but no one listens to me uh Haunted America when they came here two of them stopped by on their way through from doing a show or doing a video and and when they do their uh spirit box they actually put headphones on and blindfold the person and they did it on this bed. And she said right away it felt like someone kicked from underneath her. And then the guy said she was doing this to where they ended the video or the session early because she wouldn't quit doing this like someone was touching her. And that's what she said the whole time. And you can see, and you might check this mirror every now and then because see, like, you can see the lights there. But do you see any of you? No. Okay, so that's why. And I'll show you something else about it. Now watch your steps here because this is a pretty bad area right here. And sorry about the mannequin, but you see the three marks in the mirror? Yeah. That's courtesy mm -hmm. of the haunted taxi guy. <laughs> but what's weird about it, and I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna clean the mirror. Those marks have been there for like a year and a half, two years. And they're not dusted over yet. That's a while. Yeah, so that part is a little strange. So anyway, now this is all antique stuff. And I would say that, uh, hard telling how old this is. Now, when Glenn brought these here, the weird thing about it, and I swear to this, was when he first brought these here, this chair here, not that one, but this one, looked like it was wore out. You could see the marks of someone's legs in their butt print, like, and all I could think of was great. He brought something else in here that's someone's gonna be attached to because they love the chair. And I gave a tour later that night, and I said that same thing, and then I raised that up, and it was like this. And I'm like, I swear to you, this is the way it looked, you know? Okay, now. When we get down here at the other end, I'm not gonna say anything. I'll let you all come into the area and you just have to tell me there's a cold spot right it's here. Cooler, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they're catching up to us. I'm probably going too slow. I felt it coming up the yeah. stairs. My, look at that. My hair is on my legs. The little bit of hair I have. Yep, there you go. But yeah, I mean, look at my arms. I can, it's big <laughs> yeah. time right through here. And it's kind of good when you're hot and sweaty and you're like, ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But now, so about where you see the hairy guy right there, which is the newest thing Glenn brought under it's just a mannequin with a skull on it. But, you know, he's like, well, should I take it away? I'm like, well, it's too late now. You might as well just leave it. But when we get in that area, I'll let you all come into it. And it, I'll just let you decide on if it feels like a change before I start talking. Boy, it's really cool right here. Yeah. I mean, big time. And pay attention to this guy here because I'm pretty sure his relative is over there. And then what's weird about that is that uh, my buddy looks like, I got a buddy that looks like both of them. <laughs> and my little joke here, this says the west side. This is why you should stay in school, because that's the north side. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll talk about this first. This is another chest that Glenn bought before he looked at it or researched it. And what it is, is a death chest. And back in the day, people didn't take their family members to funeral homes. They did it at the, their homes. And this had two blankets and a sheet in it and a package of lavender under them, which what they do is put it out in a blanket, put the dead on it, then have a sheet covering them. And then at nighttime, when people weren't there, they would cover them up with the other blanket. And I made Glenn take the two blankets and the sheet home. I'm like, man, that's, you have no idea how many generations that could have used this. You know, so the possibilities of something being caught on this is high enough, you know, very highly. 
Then I had some, sorry if you're watching this people and you'll know who I'm talking about, but we had a, a group of really snobby little girls with their moms. And one of them was so courteous that she sat on this chest and disappeared not too long afterwards. And we can't figure it out. I checked the video and she didn't turn and write on it at all. But we can't tell what it says at all. But I can tell you it was not there. And now it looks like something else is starting to come through here. Some people say it says Lucy, but I've taken a picture of it, reversed it, mirrored it, reverse mirrored it in a mirror. And I cannot figure out what it says, but I was going to make the girl pay for it, you know, because it was it cost a lot of money. So I was going to, you know, if I caught her writing on it, I was going to, you know, contact him with legal. This is Miss Portal that was in the video with the shadows. And if you look, her lips are, look like she might have just applied lipstick. Later on, it might look dull, like she's been wearing it all day long or she might refresh it. Her hair, you might see her hair move a little bit. Or if you mess with her, you could see her make an ugly face. I've had people to wear a guy, there was two guys, one of them come over here and one was over there and they were twirling her hair. And a girl with him goes, I don't know about you, but she looks like she does not like that. And it did. It looked like her lips were puckered and she was biting down on her teeth. And it freaked the boyfriend out of that girl out so bad. And she busted him when they started to leave. She's like, are you going to tell him? And he's like, no, let's just go. And she goes, no, tell him. And she's like, no. And she goes, he went back and apologized to the doll because it freaked him out so bad. Uh, because it did. It looked like she was really upset with him. But so I don't mess with her that much. She's pretty. I put her in this rocking chair. She was in this one, but I put her in this because I figure she needs it. But sometimes her head will be like this or looking over to the side and we don't move it. But with this here now on the back, I don't know if she's not able to do it so much, but it makes me feel better. So I've I'm, I'm been trying to catch her rocking in it, but it used to be over here, the rocker, and I've caught it moving because with the camera over there, it helps when a support beam's right in the way because you can see it go like no chair, chair, no chair, chair, so you can see it moving. And then this recliner, I don't know if it was a grandma's or whatever, but it rocks a lot. And we've seen something right down here by it, like a white shadow, I guess you could call it, but it was like it just appeared and it looked like somebody was sitting in it. Like, see the indentions right here? Like, it looks like someone's been sitting against it recently. Just, you might want to set something up to keep an eye on that but I can see it from my camera and all the time it looks like it goes to town. So, and I know they're gonna be excited that you guys are here because there's too many of you and they're gonna love that. And then the rocking horse, if you have rim pods, you might do a rim pod session with it on the horse. Uh, Missouri Boo Crew had three people come here and her rim pod went to all colors and was having a good session with it. And the bummer part of it, and I hate to admit how much of a moron I am here, but I have a trail cam sitting right over there on the wood. And so we had it triangulated from that and then my DVR and then their camera. But she's talking to it, and then I hear footsteps on my trail cam. You hear it walk by in the pitch dark, and then the lady goes, is that, and I can't remember the name she said, and then you hear a voice of a girl or a woman talking and I was transferring it from the SD card to the laptop and I lost it. And that just, it's stupidity. And, but I have this trail cam hooked up right towards the horse because I've been dying to catch it move. Uh, I think it was ghost hunters that caught one moving at the time. And we're almost done, there's another cold spot. Yep, I felt that one. Yeah. Now this bed is, it was really hard to get up the ladder. It looks like it. Yeah, I told Glenn we probably should have <laughs> taken it apart first. <laughs> no, we, we actually did, but. Yeah. Uh, if you see this hand print here, like uh, the people last night, they, the Apex of Paranormal, they were like, well, that's really a defined handprint, and they put their handprint over there to show the difference, I mean, because that's really defined. But the reason I'm saying is I have a video on my phone of a handprint right here that is that much longer than my fingers. I mean, it's a humongous handprint, and at the same time over here, was an indention like this deep and that wide and I actually put my sunglasses by it to show just how deep it was. Now Marie Jackson and her people caught a stick figure, you know, the program that you use to, and it will outline something, awesome. was sitting right there on that edge of the bed. And so we got that and then all the time, it's always messed up, but when that big handprint was here, the whole bed was rippled. The, the blanket was all rippled and I've never seen it like that before. So then I make it. 
the little kid who came here for, uh, I, don't, I didn't mean to call you a little kid. I know you're a teenager. Sorry about that. He did a pretty good job, I think. He messed up a little bit of the history deal, but that's fine. I hope he comes back. But they come during the day, and they were cleaning up at night, and they wanted me to come up and help them gather their stuff up. Well, right here was a pile of change. And I asked them, I said, well, what's the deal with the change? They're like, don't know. It wasn't them. It wasn't there when we did the walkthrough, and they said it wasn't there while they were investigating. The weird thing about it is the penny was like from 1943, the nickel was like from 1955, 1960 on the dime and so on. And so I just grabbed it and put it in my pocket. And then one of my friends was like, are you sure you still have it? And I'm like, well, I put it in with my other old coins. And he's like, are you sure you still have them? Because, you know, he's like, maybe they really weren't there at the time. But this is the doll or the mannequin, the wedding dress that she came back up to see if it was the same wedding dress as the picture. And then that support beam right there is the one that she was transparent or the shadow came on this side and she went on the other that you saw. And then the whole video, she would have walked over there and been standing right over there where the doll was at. And then a lady, I think it was on a different floor, this mirror here, she took a picture of, I don't know what she was taking a picture of, but she just happened to take a snapshot. And then on the wall, and I think it was down on third floor at the time, but behind her was a shadow of a cowboy, like a huge shadow. And she actually got a hold of me on Sunday and was like, you got to see this, you got to see this, because she hadn't seen it. <laughs> so, and this is where I was telling you about the door got thrown down. See, I shouldn't have been able to see nobody, because this was here the whole time, which me and Glenn kind of got in an argument. I said, well, why did you put that up after the fact? And he was up here painting and actually sent me down a text going, everything's OK down up here. I'm like, the hell of it is. You know? <laughs> but that door was stuck right here. And you can see where the wood piece is missing right there. I had actually taken that out because I had a rope that went up to the uh, pulleys up there to move a four-ton drum, and I couldn't get it unstuck from that. It was stuck with the door down into there, but yet it got thrown down at me all the way down there. So I just think the guy was saying, hey, don't take apart the elevator cart because I don't want to be the elevator. Because like <laughs> I said, we did find seed, uh, receipts that said they wanted 1,300 bags of 100-pound seed. And you want to watch that track door right there. And that little area right there. And this is our next floor is the final one. It's also the one with the most construction on it because we just got through fixing the roof. So uh, bear with us there. And the stairs will be the next we fix. Hi, girls. New visitors. During tours, I used to say, hey, don't they look like they're on desk door? And the girl who had her hair pulled that I talked about that went like that, she studied Victorian history, and she said, actually, in the picture, they are dead. And she pointed out her hands, how they're flat and everything. But the ugly hotel guy and me, well, the first time we noticed anything was he was filming them, and their eyes looked like they were wet in the, in the picture. The weird thing about that is, is after they would take pictures of them, they would use ink and black them in. But he swears that this one turned her shoulders. And this one, if you watch her lips, you know, her facial area here, it actually looks like she's got a shit eating grin, but when you walk back down, it's a whole different look. And you'll tell me, you'll hear me say goodbye to him when I come back by. I just figured, think I should. And then this one, we'd never had anything happen, but then we had two guys from Springfield come up, and I was telling them about this. Well, he had his camera going on that, and his phone started putting lines in it. And at the same time I said blink, his friend goes, she winked, and we actually saw the video. And if you watch this, please send the video again, because I never got it. <laughs> but we watched it downstairs and it actually happened. Uh, so watch here to the stay to the right up here and this is about where I'm going to leave you guys. All that that support is is wood that's holding those two 44 inch oh, wow. Coley wheels and that little one. Yeah and there's just a little bitty edge. Uh, the codes people are like hey uh, we don't want to hear about some dude falling five floors to his death. But if you look up on the little oaks right there those are actually made of brass and they have grease in them with cotton looking thing. It's not cotton, but it's something else that looks like cotton. And everything about this elevator still worked after all these years. I could move the elevator cart with my crowbar with, wow. a, with a gear that was 110 pounds and it was gold colored. I lost the bet, you know, or the vote. They said it was uh, brass. I say it was gold because I could scratch it. But so either way, we could have made a table out of it and sold it for 10 grand. Instead, we took it to the scrapyard. So, <laughs> you know, and got like 250 $275 out of it. This is the rubber stuff we just got through putting up on the roof that we had to carry up from the ground. 
This is a print of Lincoln's, the picture that was above Lincoln's deathbed. And then this is the weirdest picture of Lincoln you'll ever see. I've never seen this on one, but I'd love to see this guy's collection. But this is from a guy, a print of a guy's private collection. And it just, I think it's after he got assassinated. So wow. you, it makes you want to go see the rest of the guy's collection. Hey, we're almost done. Uh, watch your stepping in here because some of the floors raised. Back in the day, all these buildings down here, if you look at them, some still have the water towers, but they recycled their water. We should still be doing that, people. Yeah. Uh, but it would come off the roof and come down here and go all the way down to the basement to the little system down there that you'll see inside of a little building that's built down in there. But it was made by ADT. The alarm people. Yeah, so they've been in business the whole time. Then these boards here are here because, oh, and sorry about this, which when I told Glenn it was a little uh, unkid friendly, he just put tape over it, but it is an oil painting, which again, it's up here in the sauna, which is not a good thing either. But <laughs> we had a guy break in and come up here and started a fire to get warm when we have a fireplace downstairs. Uh, and the fire department said they had no idea. The guy was kind of out of it and had no clue he was up on the fifth floor at the time. But if it wouldn't have been made of redwood, the building wouldn't even still be here at the time. And this is probably one of the first buildings to ever have heated floors. If you look at the fireplace, you'll see a metal pipe coming down it, but they used to heat, use it, sorry about that loose window, but they'd heat the whole floor. So it'd come up and it'd go underneath every floor. And if you see right here, the old uh, ceramics, that's the old way they did the electricity through here. But again, the people who owned it before us, the scrap people took out all the copper wiring, which would have been cool if it was still here. Now this area here, I've actually been with somebody that thought that I kicked underneath this when I was given a ghost hunt with uh, friends of friends. And I said, no, I didn't. And then when a girl sitting over here shined her light, it looked like someone was sitting right here beside her. And the girl was pretty, you know, adult size. So that should have puffed it up. And then some people from Pennsylvania, when they were here, says that they feel like a preacher is attached to something up here, which I think it might be that right there. Because to me, it, they look pretty evil to me, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, I mean, seriously, but I mean, if it was gonna be a preacher, that would be what he's attached to, in my opinion. That's opening day of Union Station, where people are just crowded in. And the people from Pennsylvania, the girl comes over here and she goes, that's a vampire. And she's like, calls her, the guy with her over, and she's like, look at this picture. And he's like, yep, that's a vampire. Not that she's an actual vampire, but back in the day, they, they practiced vampirism. And I used to say that it looks like if that was a school marm, no kids would be back talking, you know, the teacher. And that's a fake hundred dollar bill, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a copy of one. And then this mirror is really old and really expensive. Uh, I can't remember how many reflections it had in it, but uh, I've seen stuff in this from a camera I had sitting on that table and a lot of times I've been given a tour and I've been standing over there and I'll look this way and there's an extra person that's been in this mirror right here and it always stumps me. I didn't, if you noticed, I didn't even look that direction when I was talking to you guys. Okay, so this is the end of where I leave you. If you want to look at these, you know, these are all historical pictures down through here. Like there's a signing of the decoration if you want to see it and some old, other old ones. But if you want, just stay to the right. And if you cross down at the other end, just walk lightly, you know? I mean, we can walk all the way through these floors, but we don't want you falling through in case you hit it wrong, you know? We got enough entities in the building. Uh, just try to stay out of the middle on that side. But any questions before I go? We're gonna come down. We gotta grab all of our stuff. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I got a couple questions. Yeah, go ahead. So are there any entities that you've identified that are here? No, actually the only death on record that we have found is somebody that was in their 50s that died of a heart attack. Really? Other than that, we had the medium that talked about uh, a guy that wants to refer himself as the doctor and that's how you should present yourself to him. And I have a picture set of when I came downstairs, I came down the ladder one time and there's all I saw was a glowing head at the top of the ladder. So I started taking pictures of it and it was getting closer and closer. And my ex goes, I don't know what you're seeing, but let me show you what I'm seeing because she was standing behind me by the fireplace. And she said, now zoom in and hold the phone away from you. So I did. And it looks like an old guy with balding hair and a tuxedo with a lapel even in it. And if in the series of pictures, I put it in a gift. 
and he actually blacks out the light to one of the support beams on the where the ladder was at which i can show you guys if you want to see it yeah. uh, but she said that he was a prisoner probably during the civil war and they made him once they found out he was a doctor made him work on the patients of the soldiers on the other side and he's kind of disgruntled what's cool about that is a friend of a friend stopped by to see if we were here so he could do some ghost hunting and we weren't so he took some pictures of outside of the windows and I, he goes he's like here look through them and i was just scrolling and bam there's that old guy and he'd never seen this other ones of mine i said dude look at this i broke out my phone i'm like look <laughs> i'm like it's the same guy but he was up on like third or fourth floor so anytime you go outside you might take flash shots of the windows because we have tons of pictures of them looking outside and where you'll hear them go from one side of the second floor over to the other side like if something's happening outside like during when they go cut donuts or there's just a lot of commotion outside you'll hear them walk across there but yeah other than knowing that the only death record unless she comes up with something more from the congress or library of congress on that last map you know we really couldn't tell you but i'd say that since this was pro-slavery and right across the river was uh, freedom then you probably had slavery in here at one time there's a plaque around the corner that talks about the last thing that the Indians saw were black hands going under the water because the buccaneers, since they couldn't catch them, would just shoot the boat, boats full of holes and then sink them. You know, I mean, cruelty, you know, so wow. it's hard telling. Well, and I think I'm ready. Okay, guys, before they leave, we've got Mama Spooks and what was your nickname? Baby Spooks. Baby <laughs> Spooks. Oh, oh, That's what we decided. I still have a nickname. Yeah, Connor was that. He's just Connor. I'm just... Because we got Papa Spooks, Baby Spooks, Mama Spooks, Kid Spooky. Woo! Woo! Connor. <laughs> and yeah. Connor Cookie? Cookie Connor. Cookie Connor. Cookie Connor the no, monster. Gotta get, you gotta have a spooky name. Should we decide on it right now? Connor the destroyer of worlds. Brother Spooks. Brother Spooks. I like Brother Spooks. Well, you guys, so you're about to go home. We are. Yeah. No, we have we, other get, plans for today. We're yeah, like going, going into we're going into bed. No, we're not checking out. <laughs> no, we have no. to get up early and go in the morning. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but how'd you guys feel in there right away? That's pretty creepy. Pretty spooky. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of yeah. Definitely some weird energy. Yeah. Ooh. Heavy. Very heavy. What floor do you think was the weirdest? I feel like the third was yeah. pretty spooky. The second was pretty creepy. Yeah. What about you, mother? I'd say third or fourth. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So Thank we got to gotta climb a lot of stairs tonight, guys. But you guys have to be careful because it's <laughs> yeah. pretty dangerous. Yeah. Jeff, those... Jeff can only use the ladders. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you got to get those games. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to be. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie, I forgot. Yeah, it's not a ladder. I'll let you well, climb the stairs like that. Can yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> On all fours. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, Mary, you want to show off the shirt with Jeff? Yes. Our new merch that's coming yes. soon. It might be out at this time, but love it. Yep, Paranormal Files Halloween merch. You guys were the first official oh people. Yeah, brand, dude. yeah come no on. Free advertising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have brand team. loyalty here. Looks Pretty good, good, guys. And the other yeah. Murder in America And, the, and shirt. Connor's got the Murder in America merch. Oh, let's go. And then, and then me and Tess, yeah, get us. And, then Tess oh. and I just got black shirts. They don't even represent the... No. no. Traitors. Hey. <laughs> 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 I don't know the hell that was. Baby <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we love you guys. Love Wish you could stick around. Love you. You're going to have to come to another <laughs> one. Like this video and leave me a comment if you want to see baby spooks back yes. in a video for once. Baby spooks needs to, to be come. continued. Yes, she's. I don't think she's ever officially done one with us, has she? She always she's dips out on us. Yeah. School or she's working. I know. Now she's in between jobs. And now she's but... bailing because she's scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> real, real. 
<laughs> okay. Well, everybody, hands in. Wish us luck and that we don't die, okay? Wait, what are we saying? We, we've been f***ing this shit out of this. I don't know. I don't know. Please don't die for One, the two, love of three. God. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Please don't One, two, three, die. Don't die. Okay. Okay, I like that. One, two, three. Don't die! <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs> so after the tour, we decided to begin investigating, and this is obviously when the tension starts to ramp up. We decided that the best place to start was the second floor. It's known as one of the most active floors. And we started off really with a Ouija board session. Okay guys, so it's what, 10.30 right now? We are here on the second floor of the Blossom House Hotel. We're super excited to be here. We're so happy to have this opportunity to be able to investigate this awesome historic property. Now, I haven't really seen people on YouTube do this place, so it's great to be able to kind of spread the message about this location and let people know um, that it's here and that this place has some very interesting history and you know compelling hauntings because as you saw on that tour no one's really sure exactly who or what is haunting this property but already just while setting up let's play a clip now of what just happened with our rem pods there's a lot of energy here already we had to shut off the rem pods just to do this intro but yeah we're here tonight with uh oh, sorry music box just went off and the cat balls right there anyway <laughs> sorry huh? connor connor <laughs> and jeff Je and jeff jazzy jeff jazzy jeff how are you guys doing step closer i'm doing spectacular uh i'm doing super spectacular this location is significantly <laughs> cooler than uh the past locations we've been I mean, actually at. cooler like yeah temperature wise Tem temperature wise oh, yeah, way yeah. Cooler. even though it's still pretty warm it is. Uh, yeah yeah feels nice to be in somewhere that uh i don't feel like i'm dying yeah. but oh, um it's terrible i'm excited for tonight i already feel kind of a like heavy energy on this place uh and but it switches kind of all throughout the building uh hitting weird cold spots um just like strange activity like the rim pods going off i think we're in store for a really good night tonight and jeff i'd agree with everything you said i think Thank the you. different floors <laughs> the different floors feel different to me um it's a, i think this is like a really completely different kind of location for me yeah you know? i mean it's just different yeah. A lot of energy. I don't know exactly what to feel. Right. I mean, that's kind of unknown is what I mean. It's like, I don't really know what it is. There's a cat ball going off again. Oh, it's kind of funny. But <laughs> I mean, it's, like, it's, it's yeah. even just, there's a lot of different stories of this place. Um, different videos that he's shown us. And right. I mean, there's been so much activity just recently in this building that That who knows what we're gonna uh, catch tonight. So. Yeah, and also I gotta Hi. say, shout out to the new merch guys. You wanna show yeah. off? We got Murder in America's yeah. first official merch drop right yeah. there. Logo design. Yep, and then the new Paranormal Files merch for Halloween, baby. This Dude. is one of our designs. Here it is, baby. Jeff, how comfortable is that shirt? Very, very soft. For yeah. One thing. Yeah, if you like being I comfortable think, and you yeah. love repping some stuff that we do. Yeah. I also forgot to say guys, so I totally messed up with the intro of this video. This place was actually never an actual operational hotel. So the owner, um, so the owners are trying to turn this place into a hotel. That's why there are the beds and the kind of sectioned off areas in, inside of this building. But uh, this was a warehouse, you know, and a, a production facility, more industrial than in the hospitality industry. But there was still death here, accidents, lots of things that occurred in buildings like this. But I do want to admit that I was under the impression that this was a hotel, and that's why the intro was us going to the yeah, most haunted yeah. hotels in the city, yeah. which is what was funny. But, however, however, those places that we went to earlier, the stories about that is still true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, and, true. and here too. <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna start out tonight by doing a Ouija board session. So yeah, we're gonna set on in, and then immediately we're gonna hop into an Estes session to try and see where the energy is here in the building and I don't know, it's just like you don't really know where to start because the energy's everywhere and I can feel it. You can really feel it. Mm -hmm. Even just on this floor, it's like, it's almost like they're in the shadows. And I mean those figures that they yeah. caught on mm -hmm. camera are like. Shadow figures. <sighs> Give me a little Quite chill. a few places to be a shadow here in this room. So, yeah. in all of the rooms, yeah. actually. Well, sure. let's do this guys. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. 
We're starting off with a Ouija board and tonight we're doing something different. We're gonna use a dual port. Yeah. Um. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Uh. So the dual port right here, this thing actually scans the same device here or something. It uses the same technology as a spirit box. It actually runs off a spirit box, but it's got noise cancel <laughs> real. But it's got noise canceling technology and reverb added, so you're just hearing the voices instead of the static. But we're gonna run that this time while we do the Ouija board and see if someone's here. You guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah, and here's the just a real quick shot. There's the spirit box right here. Just hooked up. Okay. By the way, we got Jeff here tonight, Papa Spooks. Hey, how you doing guys? And Connor. Daddy Connor. Daddy Connor. Hooked up. All the girls, hey. this is Daddy Connor. You heard it here first. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're calling out right now to anybody who might be here in the building with us. We just want to speak to you. And we're coming with great intent, light, lots of love in our hearts. And we want to speak to positive entities tonight. So you can also use your voice to speak with us if you're here. Yeah. Can you tell us how many people are here? Oh. I do. One, two, three, four. Like maybe that's four hits. Yeah. What? Uh, say it louder. Is it coming in? Come and join us. It stops every time when I point at it. How many people are here? Can you tell right me your, can you tell me your name again please? That was pretty clear, thank you. First one was a woman. Whoa, I'm not touching it. We got, we got Ivy? Ivy? Yeah. Ivy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking in my head. Ivy, why? Is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ivy. Okay, why put it back in the middle? I think I. Okay, if your name is Ivy, we're trying to hear your voice. Can you say Ivy or that's me with your real voice? Hi, can you say your name out loud? Use your energy and talk through this like you're trying to. It's kind of interesting, it's always like a female voice. Wow. Hello, I again? Yes. It's not I again? Yeah. Is your name Ivy? Um. 
Ivy, if this is he, if, if Ivy, if this is here, if, what the oh f is going on with me? Look at that. That's part of it, man. Confusing you. Ivy, if you're here with us right now. Look at that. It's like, yep. I think she is. Can you put the board on yes? Or say yes. Can you can you say it clear like I'm here or it's me? If you could just say Ivy or yes. We'd know that it's you, Ivy. Oh. The, the tip, mm. the top point, where it holds it off the board is on I again. <laughs> So Ivy, you have to let us know that it's actually you by trying to tell us through this device here. Tell us it's you. Here. Mm -hmm. Are you a woman, Ivy? Did you die here in this building? I went off again. Ivy, let us know it's you again, please. I'm here. It's me. Nine. Nine. Wait, nine? Okay, I would say, you know, how many spirits? Remember? Because yeah. it can answer a lot longer. Or maybe Later. she's nine years Later. old. Or maybe, yeah, could be. Ivy, are you nine years old? Let's ask Paul about it. Ivy, again, will you please say you're here? Because that was also... What's going on here? No. You're not nine years old? So is there nine people here right now? I thought it said I'm looking at nine. Really? I, I don't know. I that, that was now. very clear, was whatever it was. Looking. What do you yeah, I'm looking at mine. What do you mean by the number nine? Can you tell us what nine means? No. What are you ready for? What are you ready for? Why does he keep saying no? Is Ivy the only one here? Ivy, uh, we just... Guy's voice. Yeah, who's, tell me the name of the other person that's here. I think there's two people. Oh, I'm who's, getting... Who's... Do you feel that cold on our, on our arm and leg right here? Who's the man? Who's the man here? Can you tell us the man? Can you say your name, the man, please? Tell us your name, please. Okay, keep coming. Tell us your name, please. Thank you. Okay, but you gotta tell us your name if you would, please. Okay. This German fella saying no. <laughs> German. Can the man step forward and tell us your name, please? 
Like no. Could it be the big? Are you the big Ooh, man? Am I? am I the only one that's feeling like you're actually getting like cold? Like I here. Mean, your forehead's not even as sweaty as it is. I know. I mean, I'm feeling like kind of surrounding us. Like. A weird that kind of stop right there. What is that? What's it on? You just said. U L. U L. U L. Can one of you tell us the, the, the big man's name that's in the windows all the time here? In the shadow, the big man? U-L-L. What's going off? U-L... You? Did you sound like it's U-L-L. What does that mean? Oh. Was that the, the big man? What does ULL mean? More of you? You're welcome to come here and communicate with us. Hi. Hey, John. Hey, John. Leo. Leo. So we want to introduce ourselves. My name's Connor. I'm Jeff. And I'm Colin. Did that thing just say don't? I thought I, okay. Can you tell me how many people are here right now? Go. Oh. Hey, if the big man's here and your name is Leo, can you say that again? Or spell it? No. Like it doesn't want to say his name. Six. 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 Okay. Six. The Leo's not here, or the big man's not here. Show us what the first letter of your name is. He died. He died. I heard died. Ben. So is this Leo? Oh, I would just say that's yes. That's definitely Leo. Leo. So we've got Leo and Ivy. Leo and Ivy. Can you touch that red light over there if Leo and Ivy are here? We're thinking. We're thinking. We're thinking. We're like together, deciding. We're friendly. We're here really just to confirm that you exist. I'm checking. We'd love to hear you speak clearly to us. No. It said no right yeah. when I said no. Wow. Um, okay. Okay. 
You don't have to be afraid of us. We're just trying to hang out with you guys. What could you do? Well, that was How could you do that? That was clear. Okay, guys. Leo and Ivy, we're going to continue talking to you, but we're going to end this Ouija board session, okay? Yeah. So, when we say goodbye, we're going to close this portal. And Leo and Ivy, if you've been here, you can talk to us, but no one else is allowed to come through, okay? So, let's put it to goodbye. Oh, look at that. Right when, right when we did it. Okay. Oh. You just said if, if Leo and Ivy were here, could you touch that red light? Yeah. Hold okay. On. Uh, oh, 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 look at Leo. Oh. Okay, I, I, I... Someone's sitting at the table with us. Okay, guys, so... We already did our Ouija session. We felt like we talked to somebody named Leo. Sure. And Ivy. And we're doing a dual port. So we're going to continue asking questions. And as soon as we're done asking a few questions, we're going to use the Estes to see what floor we should go to. Wow, this thing's really cr It's nuts. Oh, there's your cat ball. Oh. Okay. Damn. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Man. oh. We just must have tapped in with Leo and Ivy. You, you know wanna, what I mean? You want to shut that, Connor? Attract, attract, okay. like we attracted okay, yeah. spirits with the Ouija board. Wow, real, oh my gosh. Dude, attract and the witches here. Yeah. Think about a train going by right now, I too. Know. You know what he was saying, Paul? Like, oh. Look at that, that's a different color, too. Holy shit. Oh, there goes the cat ball. You guys like the train? Daddy. Daddy. Daddy scoops. Dude, look at that oh, wow. thing. Oh, wow. oh, what was that? Doris. Doris. Oh, we gotta remember this. They're in the They're oh, in the that was sounded. That's a word. It was so clear. They're in the Doris, Leo, Ivy. We also have this tool right here, and you can touch it. Spiritus. You can touch it for no is right here. If you're a man, you can touch it right here. Yes is right here. And if you're a girl, touch it right here. Satan. Oh, right after we did the Ouija session. And witchcraft. And witchcraft. Oh, there it goes. Of course, right when we say it. Oh, that was Ending or vindictive for so history. <laughs> Static. Wow, those things are going crazy. Um, once again, we just want to introduce ourselves. My name's Colin. My name's Connor. <gasps> and I'm Jeff. This thing's going crazy again. And we're just here to speak with you tonight. So, did Leo? Did you hear that, yeah. Leo? So Leo, to... are you here with us? Can you tell us, did you die here in this building? I think I'd say that's kind of a yes. Leo, can you use your voice and tell us how you died? Asthma. Mm. Yeah, it does, it did sound like Was it something with your lungs? No, it's Fuck. not. If it's something no, with it's your lungs, not. no, it's not. Okay. Did someone kill you? I feel that Isn't weird it, cold coming around us right now. It's amazing how the... Horrible. Oh, I'm just gonna say this. Huh. Horrible. Brilliant. You're, you're still Angel. here. Dude, it comes in waves right when that thing starts spiking. Mm -hmm. Brilliant okay. Angel. Got you both in. Did you work here when it was a factory? <laughs> Philip. Philip, did you work here when it was a factory? What kind of work did you do? 
Can you say that clearer, please? That's creepy. That's very creepy. <laughs> It's like silent. Did you work for the army? Were you building tanks and jeeps? Claude Hopper? Yeah. What the hell? Jacob. Jacob. A Claude Hopper is a clumsy person or a big shoe. Is that what it says? Clumsy person falling. This clumsy a, person falling. Or a big shoe like a or big like man. like dropping something when this oh. was a factory. Like a big man. Yeah. Jacob, did... Old. Oh. Jacob, did you die from a fall? Jacob, did you fall down the elevator shaft and die? Um. You can come sit down at the table with us. We have a chair open right here. Colin? Are you happy here? Okay, can you anything further to say to us like Colin was asking? Oh. Terrified. That sounded like it said go away. Go away. Terrified. Hmm. Can you tell us where in the building same voice? Where in the building we should go? Okay guys, I think we should do the Estes now. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Eight. Okay. Alright. Okay. We're gonna do the Estes method now and see what floor we should go to. So let's pause. Okay, so we're gonna do an Estes now. I'm gonna hop right in. If you don't know what that is, we are using a spirit box and I'm isolating myself so I can't hear or see anything. So I want you guys to try to figure out what floor we should explore next. Is 35. Le is Leo and Ivy here? Okay, we just got in saying that REM pod was completely dead. Uh, that's me. Okay. I'm on the floor. There's a REM pod. Yeah. Floor three. three. Did you die three. here? Three. Is this I'm in hell right now. Is this the third floor? This is the second floor. Come up! Okay, third. You want us to go upstairs? Travel the world. Head through the, head through the rafters. Where do you want Jeff to go? Watermelon. Oh, that's me, right? Watermelon. The joke is we've got a watermelon. We've been hey. Ooh, that was, that was creepy. creepy. Like a, hey. Where are you? Ulysses. There's three of them. Okay, I'm going to go to the third floor. No. Where should Connor go? Can you tell me where you want me to go? Suck me off. I, seriously, oh, I just heard that. Hold up, buddy. Oh, I'm, oh. I'm sorry to say of course, I don't know. The REM pod's going off. I don't know what that was. That response. Okay. Send somebody up. You want me four. to Four. You want me to go Four. To four twice. Whatever you're asking. Four. You want me to go to the fourth? Do you want anybody to stay here on the second floor or should we go to another floor? You said three, they said three. And Leo, four. Leo. Really? Okay. I, I worked for a school. So if I go to the fourth floor, is third that okay? Third floor. You want me on the third floor? I just heard third floor like that. So you want me to go to the third floor? You'll get cold. Where should Jeff go? Him. Yeah. Yep. Me. Where should Jeff go? Should he go to the walk around the back? <laughs> Remember that he, he also said not don't walk, to walk around the back. back. Little okay. bit or so he wants to get killed or something. All right, so I'm gonna go to the third floor. Jeff to the fourth floor. You want Colin on the fifth? Who's gonna be up there? On the third, fourth, or fifth. You have. Who's going to be waiting for us up there? The king. The entire army. 
Philip. Where's the big guy? All at? the same voice. Isn't there a, like a Leo, like King Leo, Leo the King? Like a lion. The not good thing. Leo the Lion King. Hmm. Lion King. You freed <laughs> me yeah, now. Do you want us to split up? Easier target. Oh, that's a yes. Run pod. <laughs> I'm going to ask that. <laughs> hey, we are going to split up. Are you going to show Get yourself? Get up there. Are you going to show yourself to Watch us? out. Oh, a little girl. Help me. Hmm. All right. What's the little girl's name? Oh, what's the four has the doll? Satan. Uh, I think third, fourth. Quiet down. What floor is the big Good guy on? Girl. girl again, little They're girl. all on third. Yep. He's right there. All on the third floor. Yeah, interesting what he said about being nauseous. I almost feel a little nauseous. Like I'm getting stuff coming up right now. So would you be? He a... took me and f me. Oh God. Everything's not okay. <laughs> so what floor do you want Colin on? Anything. So you don't Four. care. Here. So you want Colin on fourth floor? Again, a woman. He took me. Oh, inside me? Ugh. It's taking a turn. Alright, so Colin's gonna go to the fourth When it floor. was empty. Oh. oh! Under there? It's like when it was abandoned. Some shit went Evil down. need to be baptized. He's waiting. Like, I don't know if that was in a song or what, but that was a really raspy smoker voice. For Connor! For Connor! For Connor! For Connor! Oh. I, think that's, dude, I think that's the big man in fifth. Oh. The big man's on the fourth. Fourth? You know! Yeah. Okay. So... I you dumbass. I want to know where you want me to go. I'm gonna chop you up! Can you tell me where you want me to go? <laughs> I just heard, want some finish with this Estes? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm hearing so- there are a lot of voices here, man. Oh, I'm tearing up. Number five. Okay. So he wants that, me on I'm the I'm Scott fifth. Free. <laughs> I'll be on the fifth. I'll be on the fifth. <laughs> I think I- he said fourth after you asked about Colin. Yeah. So I'm third. Obviously not. <laughs> so me three, Colin four, you five. All right. I, I had a difficult life. What do you want us to do tonight? Is there anything you want to talk about? You know you want me. I'm not even kidding, dude. Okay. I'm not kidding. Whatever you said. You play. know you want me. Like this sexual thing. I don't get it. I have no clue. I mean, get me on video, I mean, please. Like, like we said, I mean, there's a lot of history we don't yeah. know about this yeah. place. Muzzles up. And there, but it's I mean, like an assault, or yeah. And you know what I mean. So you want us to film you today? The old man's. <laughs> Oh, that's the same voice as whatever <laughs> yeah, said Connor before. Connor. <laughs> I don't think the old man's me. Hopefully uh -huh. not. Jeez, not Dude, again. I'm hearing like there's a woman. Oh, I did all the I did all the shooting, and there's a. Is this an army man? I stabbed him in the kidney. It's a what? It's a man, and there's a young girl, and then an older, middle-aged girl. Were Normally, even, there's twenty. Were you in the army? Once you find that person, I'm not letting them go. Whole sentences, dude. Oh, look at that. That's the first time the REM pod hit again. Somebody's here. All right, well, we're going to split up here in a second. Is there anything else you want to say before we split You're up? You're pickled. Hmm. There's whores bit, here. We got a little bit more of a. Not Beautiful whore. Like sexual bad. Yeah, it's like Fifth floor. So Constitution kind of stuff. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna split up. I just heard Rob Zombie. <laughs> Watch it. All right. Well, thank you for talking to Whatever, us. Whatever, buddy. Like I said, we're gonna split up. Yeah. There's somebody up. 
Jeff's going to be on the third floor. Collins Watch out be. for the holes. That we will do. Yes. Uh, Collins going to be on the One after the other. And I'm going to be on the fifth floor. If you want to come talk to us, feel I'll free give you to so much us. of them. Follow us up there. We'd love to I'm talk to you. I'm coming home. All right. All right. Needle in a haystack. We're going to tap him Murder at random. Tap him out. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, dude. Some weird oh, stuff. We're going to tap you out. Um, oh. It's like there's like a f***ing prostitution yeah. right here at one point. Oh, that's 100%. Like sexual content here? Dude, I was hearing all of that. Like, what the f*** was that? Like... You know, you want me like something like that, yeah. and I was like, uh, I felt really weird though. That, that was I felt the like thing. There's... That, like it, it, it didn't feel like, like there were some things that like were thrown in there that kind of sounded like, like I was trying to be like, like a badass, but then it sounded like, like victims of like sex trafficking almost. That's a little creepy. And then, like... Well, either way, there's, like, sexual connotations here left and right. Yeah. Which is weird, because, I mean... Unless it was, like, when this place was abandoned. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. What if it's more modern history? Yeah. We'd have to ask Paul about it. Because well, that... I mean, with, like, sex trafficking stuff, I mean, that doesn't necessarily go documented. <laughs> no, but, no. I mean, if he's heard of anything sexual... Yeah. Anything. Well, this is a high-crime area down here. They just had a yeah. car stolen from out front four weeks ago. Yeah. Well, it'd just, you know, be interesting. He lives here. But he wants, or whoever it was, wants Jeff on the third floor. Yeah. You on the fourth floor, and me on the fifth. Split her up. Man, I feel kind of weird after that one. It was There's a like, lot of long sentences. I was like, like, what's up there? Thousands of whores. Huh. A good whore. Yeah, I kept hearing I'm whore, like, whore. I'm just, I mean, why did I hear? I'm like, I'm like, who knows though? The what f would place. be on the radio, man. <laughs> this is way bad. This is slavery days. I mean, this is yeah, an active that's place when we were going on here. Or even like Native American stuff. And it could have been indigenous here. anything. So I mean, the bottom line is, we never we know shit. Up. Well, I'm excited to all of us go upstairs. Yeah. So yeah. I think at this point, we're going to all split up. So I'm on. Okay, that's a yes. It wants us to split that's up. That's a yes. So I'm going to be on four. You're on what? Three. Three? And you're on five? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I guess think, let I, it begin. I think like Paul said, though, I don't really feel like any fear, kind of like No, me either. It doesn't feel like you know what I mean? e evil. Yeah. Anything. No. I mean, as bad as yeah. like sex trafficking and stuff like well, that. Well, that, yeah. I mean, like, exactly. it's bad, but it doesn't seem like, like... No, are like really no. threatening. No, but I definitely but I, I do, feel it's, somebody's It's crazy here. though. I do feel like it. There's like a, a male presence that's yeah. trying to make it like, mm -hmm. like badass. Like, well, maybe yeah. that's the big man. Yeah. Again, right. You know what's interesting is right when you guys are about to tap me out, I felt like I just could like sense something going up the stairs or like mm -hmm. walking away, and then now with my blind off. This floor seems completely dead. Mm. Like it doesn't it seem does. like as yeah. like. I was just about to say that. It was charged. I mean, before. like it, it really doesn't feel like there's yeah. anything on this floor anymore. No. Well, and I think the REM pod has settled down only when you act, almost like say something that's relevant. Like yeah, it goes off. Otherwise, it's been it was going it's off like, like crazy before, like I thought, right? I thought we were, before thought we were it was going on. like crazy. Yeah. Oh, of course. Just to verify, yep, that's true. Wow. So that's you saying we should go upstairs? It's like, let's get going. Okay, guys. Well, let's do this. Time to cut, I guess. Okay. While we were sitting at that table, I mean, we were getting some insane evidence. But with how big this building is, we almost knew that if we didn't spread out, that we weren't going to be able to connect with whatever it was out there because there's so much to cover. And so we had to split up. 
So at that point we decided to split up. I headed to the fourth floor, which had the bride's dress and some of the beds and stuff. Jeff headed to the third floor and Connor headed to the very top to the fifth floor. So I don't really like splitting up. I know we oftentimes say we're going to and then we never end up doing it because it's freaky, but I'm glad we did this time because it gave me personally some pretty wild results. So we're gonna sit here and try to communicate. Oh, okay. Cat ball. Can you let me know you're here, first of all? Just let me know that you're here. Oh, okay. Music box, thank you. I'm on the third floor and I've got a static cam. Oh, this has been active here already. Oh, I got some chills here too. Music box has been going off. Just gonna kinda hang out and see what we get here. Okay, thank you. You like the music box, huh? Let me know your name, who's making this music box go off. Let me know. Okay, why is it not saying it? It says a doll's whisper. What doll? What's your name? What's the name of the doll? Good morrow. What the heck is that? Good morrow. I'm just going to document what this is and it said to go away. Go away. Okay, I did go away, but I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna move this, recalibrate it. Should go about three seconds. Recording. Let's get, oh. Yes, I am recording. And, Happened here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna let you kind of talk with me a little bit here. Happened here. So what happened here? Once again, my name's Jeff. I'm here to communicate with you guys, just to, you know, recognize that you're here. I'm friendly, good intentions, and I just want you to keep letting me, let me know that you're here. Was there an assault here? I'm gonna I'm gonna say some things that could have happened here, and if I hit on one of them, will you play the music box or make this red light go off? Okay. Did an assault happen here? Who's here? Let me know. Jordan. It, Okay, Jordan could be a man or a woman, I, I think, on the spelling. So, Jordan, what happened here? Was there a murder? Hear my voice. Okay, so with that said, hear my voice. I think he, maybe you know I have a recorder. We're gonna try to hear your voice, okay? That you're asking me? That's what we're gonna do. Okay, you ready? Guys, this is a cassette, micro cassette recorder. Uh, Colin got a few of these. We're gonna try to pick up some sounds with this. Okay, my name's Jeff. I'm here just to communicate with you. You've been pretty quiet now since you were playing with the music box a lot and this device with the red light, but can you tell me your name, please? I'm gonna sit back and relax a little bit. Tell me your name, please. Were you killed with something here? Maybe a murder? Oh, oh. Okay, if you see this. Ah, damn it, it says machete. Did actually, was a machete used? happen here? That does not sound good. What happened with the machete? Tell me on this device I'm, I'm holding in my hand. Okay guys, for the sake of time, we're gonna go ahead and stop it. Just do a, um, I gotta look here. Okay, my name's Jeff, I'm here hell, just to communicate strange, with man. you. You've been pretty quiet now since you were playing with the music box a lot and what happened, please? My life was taken. <sighs> Dude, my life was taken. So, my camera I'm just here. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you the spirit, what it told. It says I'm hiding here. Okay, where are you hiding? If you're hiding here, please make something happen. A noise that we can hear on camera or play with my music box or the lights. Show me where you're hiding. Gilbert. 
Gilbert. Okay. Okay, so again, <clears throat> I never know exactly what's coming through. An ovalus, four, five. Um, something happened here, okay? Did one of you guys kill the other one with a machete here? Is that what's happened here? Jordan and Gilbert? Interesting. So I'm going to assume Jordan's a girl. Jordan shot Gilbert. Gilbert had a machete. It all happened right here. Did one of you die? All right, guys. I'm up here on the fifth floor. If there's anybody here with me right now, I'd love to talk to you. My name's Connor. I have a couple devices that I'm going to be using up here. If you have anything to say, I'd love to hear what you have. So feel free to come over, sit next to me, talk to me. For anybody who doesn't know what this is, this is pretty much like a DR60, but it's a micro cassette player. So it plays these little cassette tapes. And it works just like a DR60. It's voice activated. Uh, if it hears anything up here, it will be captured on this tape. Start recording. Hello? Oh, never mind. This thing is dead. All right, so. Now what we're gonna do, oh. Thank you for coming over and hanging out with me. Can you tell me what your name is? I would love to know a little bit about you. You see me? You see me. No, I don't see you right now. Can you tell me where you are? Shot. We were talking to a woman earlier, I believe, downstairs that might have had some problems with sex trafficking. Was that you? Damn. I'm really sorry that that happened to you. Chair. Did you just come sit next to me? You don't have to be afraid of me. I'm a nice guy. I have no intentions of hurting you. Can you tell me what your name is? The devil is real. That's funny that it says that right here, because remember, the owner here thinks that there's a, a pastor kind of spirit somewhere up in this corner of the building. He said that this guy is one he thinks might have been a pastor. Which, I don't know. Is there anybody up here right now? On the fifth floor? It's definitely very creepy. That's the REM pod. Back there. Interference. Interference. So you're back over here in this corner? Jeez. Memories here. Memories here. Were the memories you had here good? Or were they bad? I just heard something back over here. Where are you? I don't know. There's not really much energy up here. I feel like there's definitely a heavier energy downstairs. I mean, just from what Colin's saying, I'm hearing him talk about downstairs. It sounds like he's getting a little bit more than I am. Um, it seems peaceful here in this corner. I'm not really sure what it is up here. Alright. I'm gonna wrap up up here. Go see what the other guys are doing downstairs. I'm not really getting much up here. Yeah, I mean, if you're up here and you were talking with me, I'd love to hang out still. If you want to keep talking, I'm gonna go downstairs. Feel free to follow me down there. It was great talking to you guys. The fifth floor was very interesting. I did feel like I was coming into contact with, maybe it was a, a young girl that was 
kind of afraid of men and didn't want to uh, conversate with me that much. And so I, at first I was getting a little bit of evidence, but then it died down. But I could hear everybody else in the building was getting insane stuff. Air. Okay hey guys, so currently I am all alone here on the fourth floor of the building. Now, this is a floor where people say, scarily enough, is the most active. Oh, right behind me. What, <laughs> check that out. The things that happen on this floor include people seeing full-bodied apparitions, hearing footsteps, people screaming, you know, all sorts of different activity. Um, and that's why it's kind of a little bit scary to be here alone. Take a look at this, uh, this woman in the wedding dress is eerie. Oh, oh, what the hell? She will not. What? Is it talking about the woman in the wedding dress? So yeah, this floor is kind of creepy. I'm gonna run a DR60 session right here though, right next to the woman in the white dress. right when I hit roll on the DR60. Okay, so I'm trying to speak right now to you, the woman in the white dress, or any spirit or entity that may be on this floor. Can you tell me your name? Okay, you said help me find it. What do you want me to help you find? Can you say it loudly and clearly, please? Hey, you said help me find it. I wanna know, oh, right there, right when I said that. Okay, so you want me to help you find something. Can you tell me what floor this object is on? Is it on one, two, three, four, five, or the basement? Okay, so you are here on the bed. Just a few more questions. So I'm here all alone. I just want to know how old you are. How old are you? Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna try listen to this, okay? I feel an energy radiating off this thing. It's really strange actually how you can feel almost like somebody right here. Oh, there's just a tab from over there. Okay, I'm gonna listen. What? Right when I hit roll on the DR60. Okay, so I'm trying to speak right now to the woman in the white dress. Or any spirit or entity that may be on the floor. Can you tell me your name? Okay, you said help me find it. What do you want me to help you find? Do you want me to help you find something? Can you tell me what floor this object is on? Is it on one, two, three, four, five, or the basement? What? Okay, so you are here on the bed. What? Because it's two, oh, three, no. four, five, or the basement. Nathan. Listen to this, guys. This object is on. It's on one, two, three, four, five, or the basement. Oh my god, it says it's in the basement. Listen to that. Guys, listen. Basement twice. Just a few more questions. <laughs> I just want to know how old you are. How old are you? Okay. Are you Let's 15? Try. Let's see. Um, so I'm here all alone. I just want to know how old you are. How old are you? 15. Okay. I'm going to try. Listen to this, okay? I'm here alone. I just want to know how old you are. How old are you? Fifteen! Look at that thing! Look at it, consistent, it's standing right here. Oh, it feels weird right here too. Can you step away for a second so it can be quiet again?
Stopovers and Joan. Is your name Joan? Joan, are you the woman attached to this white wedding dress? Dude, look at this thing going f***ing crazy. Joan seems to be a 15 year old with something that she's missing that's in the basement. Okay, so I've seen this pattern I think before on the REM pod, it's almost like the REM pod's dying or something sucking the energy out of it right now. I mean, look at all those different patterns. And this was just totally fine on the floor below it. Death. Oh. So what's waiting in the basement? Death, help me find it. Joan, I have a secret. Okay, Joan, I'm gonna walk over here. Will you please follow me? I'm gonna come over to this part with this doll. Oh, I didn't realize there was this creepy headless doll. A lot of sirens outside. So Joan, I think you're- Sharon. The moment I came over here, Sharon. Okay, so Sharon, you are the woman attached to this doll. Probably. Oh, look at that. Okay, Melissa or Sharon, you've told me your name was. Let's have a little chat, all right? I'm gonna lay this right here for you. Try to use your voice, okay? So, if you are in that little rocking chair or you like to hang out up here, maybe you, maybe you still are the person that's associated with the wedding dress. I said I was just saying and it goes off. Spells. It said the witch is here earlier. What's your name if you're attached to the doll? Music. Is there a certain type of music you want to hear or you'd like me to play? Why do people say there's a witch here? You said you wanted me to help you find something in the basement. Can you tell me what that is that you want me to find, please? What is it? Yeah, tell me what it is. Let me ask you, did you die here inside of this building or are you attached to the objects that were brought in here? How many spirits are in here? Can you tell me that? There seem to be a lot of spirits here in the building. Yes. <laughs> we thought maybe there was something with prostitution or a brothel, even a homeless woman who may have been murdered here like the owner thinks or even sex trafficking. Is there something to do with that? Were there women that were being abused here? Maybe that's why we're getting so many women's names. Also, I'd love to see you rock that chair back and forth. Yeah, I'm going to be very patient. I'll sit here for a second and see if you can rock that. And if you have anything to tell me about who you are, why you're here, or what happened to the women that obviously uh, were here in this building, just speak into that doll. Tell me what happened to these women and what you want me to find. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to listen to this session now. It didn't make the noise. Look at what it just said. Bride! Are you over by the bride's gown? Is this the bride that I'm talking to? Is that you over there? <gasps> Look at that solid hit. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, dude. Dude. Look at this thing's going crazy. Bride, flood, Joseph. Christian. Oh, flood, dude. Bride, flood, Joseph, Christian. Remember, oh, if it's on this floor, right, right. Okay, if it's on this floor, I'm gonna freak out. Cannot remember if it's on this floor. First of all, that guy's creepy. 
Okay guys, how crazy is this? Bride, Flood, Joseph, Christian. When I start talking about that, right. So if you'll remember during our tour, 16, maybe a young bride. When we were talking during our tour earlier, he told us that there was a flood here at one point that was all the way up to the, oh, I feel a cold right behind me. Oh. He was saying that there was a flood here that flooded all the way up to the, to the ground of the building. So maybe there was a bride, a young bride who drowned in the flood. Maybe she wants us to find her husband and she died and that's why we can't find it for her and that's why she's here. I'm gonna finish listening to this. Is there a certain type of music you wanna hear or you'd like me to play? Stabbed. Thank you. I'm gonna listen to this session now. You done? Yeah. What'd you get? Not too much. I was getting some REM pod hits every once in a while. It was weird, even like my spirit talker wasn't like, like usually spirit talker will be a little active. I was getting some stuff that I was maybe talking to the girl that we were talking to downstairs, but it was more of like timid kind of feeling. Like it wasn't really sure if it could trust me or not. And then it just kind of went completely dead. But then I heard you over here, like everything was going nuts. Talking yes. About the bride, flood. Yes. Dude, the bride, this REM pod's been hitting the whole time. Bride, seems like she died in the flood because he showed us a picture in the interview yeah. with the flood. Tons of voices on this, Wait, tons of voices. No, the, I went to look for it, but I think it's on Jeff's floor. But, I mean, just bride. What the fuck? Yeah. What are the odds? Bride, flood. It's like, and it said, find me. And then earlier, it's, I can't remember what it said on here, but it said something really clear about, ba oh, I'm in the basement on the DR60. No way. Yeah, so. I tried using the, the new micro cassette recorders. Nothing. Wasn't really getting much. I thought, I think I did get. Your floor seemed to be like a timid energy. This is like a bride, yeah. a woman's on this floor. She's talking to me about finding something in the basement. I wonder what the hell happened to Jeff. Let's go find out. I'm ready to grab my stuff. This was going like nuts. The spirit, this was going nuts. The, the music box, this was going off right away. Um, dolls move. And I got, that's dolls my second move. dolls. I have doll whispered. And dolls move. And then this is the flood. Oh yeah, What's dude! Up? I got and flood this book. on mine. Well, which, which floor was the doll at? My floor. Was it? Yeah. Did you have anything with that? Look. There you go. There you go. Here's the flood dude, he was dude, talking about. And this is the other thing I got in mine. I got Gilbert and Jordan. Yeah. I thought it was two guys. Yeah. And then I got machete because and that said twice. It said it happened here twice. Really. And then I, and I got machete. And so then I'm like, okay, did you want to who? swung the machete and then it, it said she shot me so then it's like well jordan's a girl right because i actually on film said jordan could be a girl or a guy wow right? you know what i mean yeah anyway and mine said bride up there when i was asking questions about the wedding dress which was interesting they all stayed on y'all's floors yeah connor didn't, <laughs> no, didn't get shit didn't get anything not really all right well i'm well, gonna I bring this downstairs because i got a lot of my okay, hands yep. so we just gonna yeah cut yep, yep. Okay. come on down so after my session on the fourth floor, I felt like I had talked to maybe somebody who died in the flood that had affected the building, maybe a spirit attached to the wedding dress. There's just so much energy in that building, it's kind of hard to discern who or what you're talking to. And I think that might be because nobody has ever really investigated. I mean, there have been a few teams, but most of these places we visit have been investigated for paranormal activity for years. So the entities and the energies seem to know how to use the devices and how to speak, you know, what they need to do to get their point across. But in this place, it's pretty new. So yeah, but everyone else had a, had an interesting experience as well. And at this point it was time to go do the Estes method session. So looking back at it, seeing that the place is like condemned pretty much now, I'm really glad we didn't actually go down to the basement, that somebody could have gotten seriously hurt doing that. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this video, like, holy fuck, this place is dangerous to be inside of. And let me remind you, it's legally been shut down by the city of Kansas City. So we headed down just to the ground floor to see if we could talk to any of these spirits we'd been interacting with. And 
actually learn something about them. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video. Let's smash that like button and comment. That place is dangerous. In the comments section below. I'm going to give you all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So go comment. You can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much and stay spooky. Okay, guys. So we're back. We're downstairs right now. We didn't end up going down to the actual basement just because... You have to get down there by a ladder and we have too much gear. Our equipment is just kind of expensive and we didn't want to risk falling. Obviously, uh, kind of dangerous too to go down there. So we're just here on the actual first floor. And Jeff, you felt like you were talking to a murderer. Well, I thought I, thought I was talking to, yeah, a pair. <clears throat> a pair. I got Machete, I got Jordan and Gilbert. And then she shot me and uh, it happened here was said twice it happened here so that's why I asked what happened you know and then that's where the machete came in the names so yeah it seemed like machete was involved and also she was Jordan shot Gilbert this is what I got out of it but you know that's just me I kind of felt like it was a bride who died in a flood and she was saying find it which I interpreted maybe as find him like she's missing her husband maybe he survived and she died you know so I guess, and Connor didn't really get anything. No. I mean, I thought I was maybe talking to like a little girl upstairs. Yeah, a meek little girl. Yeah. But that kind of does match what we said in the first Estes, remember? Mm -hmm. There was a woman that I said, oh, yeah. a little a girl, girl, and then a man. True. Dang. So that's oh, kind of wow. weird, actually, when you think I about, about it. That. Yeah. <laughs> Those are all <laughs> independently strange. the three that's voices strange. I said I heard. Two women. Yep. And then a guy. It's kind Damn. of freaky, isn't it? It is. I didn't even think about it until right now. Yeah. And yeah, we were all completely independent getting to those conclusions. That's kind of what happens too. You know, you just can't remember everything. Yeah. yeah. And then like, until you probably start editing, but yeah. I, I don't remember a lot of stuff until I see the actual piece. Yeah. And then I'm like, I didn't fucking even remember that happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to end this tonight with an Estes, and I don't know. What do you guys want to ask? What do you want to know? I don't know. I feel like it's a lot of, like, hurt spirits that are in this building. Yeah. I don't feel, like, evil here at all. No. Like, there might be a spirit here that's, like, kind of trying to be intimidating, but I feel like the majority of the spiritual energy that's here, it's, like, a hurting spirit. So I kind of want to just, like, maybe just kind of talk to them, like, see, like, I don't know. I feel like they're trapped and they just yeah. want to tell somebody what happened yeah. to them. You know? Not so very many people just, come. Just yeah. like have just normal conversation with them. See okay. how they're doing. Let's do this okay. boys. I'm gonna plug in. Who's here with us right now? They're coming soon. Is the nurse or the bride here? He never answered. I've been waiting. Maybe the bride. She's been waiting. Did you die in the flood? Suffered like everyone else. I did. What about the machete? Jordan. Total Gilbert. decimation. Okay. It's important. The important things in life. Was there a murder between those two? Between Jordan and Gilbert? Chopped them. Machete. For love. Lots of sadness. You could have shot him and chopped him up. So maybe she had the machete and the yep. gun. Yep. Crazy. <laughs> no. Okay. Wow. How? Can you tell me how old you were when you died? Woman's voice. I remember the Titanic. <laughs> okay. So time period. Pretty yeah. decently old. I was decently a man. Take me to the park. I feel like a lot of the Run. the people that are stuck here are really sad. It's our home. Are you sad? I got my sister here. 
weird connection. Do you feel sad that you're stuck here? I got those. Where are we? 1963. Yeah. 1963 when okay. they died? Or maybe one? Yeah. Leo's calling. Leo. Who's the big man? Do you guys know the big it's man? It's a Can you tell me what your name is? We just want to get to know you. Learn your story. Why are you still here? Ivy. Dang. Okay. Well, why are you still here? Hung myself. Hung myself. <laughs> Too quick. It's a fact. Oh, there's another one here. Do you feel like you're stuck here because you had unfinished business? If it's the bride or you Value just... your life. Are you just missing your husband? Welcome to our world. Thank you for having us here tonight. It's been really Evelyn. great. It's been great talking to you guys. Sounds like there's angels raining down. Is there anything you want to tell us about your life? Acadia Street. I wonder where that is. Lived on Arcadia Street? Is that it here? burned though. So maybe it helps. Mm -hmm. There was a fire up here, too. Was that a happy place for you? Oh, um, the fucking apartment. I didn't we die, though. Today. Oh, yeah. True. They caught on fire. fire. I wonder, what street, I wonder what street that was. I had to. You had to jump? I followed you here. From that apartment. Oh, shit. Just exactly what Jesus. Talking. Was that your apartment? So many friends. Yeah. This has all been a male voice, by the way. He cheated on me. I, I feel like it's more of like maybe a like paternal figure yeah, for the house. Nice. Yeah. There's so many layers. Do you know how many it spirits? Was hot. How many spirits there are here in this place? There's quite a few that jumped. <sighs> Did a lot of you follow us from downtown? The hotel. Where where'd he go? Well, there was a Wi wiper or wider can i stay <laughs> like that <laughs> it's like a little boy or something can i stay <laughs> you can stay here if you want i know the people but where here. where is it well, yeah, you're in kansas city missouri the, called the blossom 1978 yeah. just remember one thing what's that What's the one thing you want us to remember? Woman's voice. My name. Well, can you tell us what your name is so we don't forget it? It died with me. Name Acadia. 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 Twice Acadia. I've heard that, whatever it is. Acadia. He shot me. Take your glasses off. We're not bad. We don't think you're bad. We think a lot of you I here, just got here are sad. Did you come from the hotel downtown where we were? We were yes. Jeez. <laughs> How long have you the been here? The whole time. Jeez. Just wait. That's crazy. <laughs> Anybody else feel hot in here? Yeah. I'm getting like hot. Do you like it when people come visit you here? Find him, please. Who do you want us to find? Jasmine Pearls. My my birthday gift. Maybe it's like find them? My birthday gift? I don't know anyone here. Are the is your birthday wow. gift in this building somewhere? Hidden? That would be crazy. I'll never count to ten. Is there anything else you want to let us know about yourself? We'd love to tell I your story. I miss him. Others are just kind of There's like, so much to see. Come with me. Yeah. Is that why Fire you alarm. <laughs> woo, 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 like that. Um, we are pretty close You're to gonna place. fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You've got the train tracks. Water. Same thing. Okay. Just remember me, my name. Can you tell me if you Find like it. it when people come here? Do you enjoy talking to people? Yep. 
I enjoy company. Mm-hmm. Pull out next time. You should come with me here. How many people are here? There's so, so many. <laughs> yeah, we you think get that used there's... to me. We think that there's a lot of people here. Yeah, yeah. But I just want to say thank you there, for letting us... I'm talking us... to old man. Thank you for coming and talking to us tonight. There's so many. We're coming up on 15 minutes. I think out. there's so many here. Like, and no one's hardly done. I think so, too. You know I mean? I'm doing better. I mean, we're just That's... kind of scratching the surface. Yeah. Yeah. Because not as many people have been able to investigate. You're not here. a gentleman. And the train as well. I think it'd be hopping off here. Yeah. Toot, you know toot. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Law of the land. That might be a cue. That's loud. Yeah. Come on. I think so too. Yeah, Let's loud. get him out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. We got the train here, my man. Good to not have a scary haunting for a change. Honestly. Yeah. It is a completely different feeling when you go into a place and like you go in knowing that there's a history of like violent entities and all that and then you come to a place where I mean throughout the tour I never felt like scared really uh it does have more of like a depressing feel here and it doesn't really it doesn't really make that much sense just because all we know for a fact is that this was a factory. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Spider crawling up my leg. <laughs> so I'm glad I got that I'm on camera. You. We'll have to put that oh. in the golden files this year. Fuck that, dude. I'm not sitting down again. <laughs> Fuck, well, right, let's wrap this up okay, later. Got that. <laughs> all right. Fuck. Yeah. Thank you guys to whoever's in here. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, it was seriously a night. really fun night. Eventful. And I hope you find whoever you're looking for. All right. Now I feel like I got okay. spiders all over me. That's all right. Okay. okay. It's an interesting place. I think there's definitely a connection in that place with the spiritual realm. No telling what it is that's there, whether it's good, whether it's evil. There's just a lot of energy that's trapped in that place. I mean, I would like to go back, but yeah, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I'm really glad that while I was able to get the opportunity to investigate there and uh, connect with what it might be that is inside of the Blossom House. So the Blossom House is a very, very cool location. I'd love to tell you that you can go check it out <laughs> for yourself, but unfortunately, you can't. Like I said before, it's been shut down by the fire marshals in the city, which is an interesting twist on this episode. We ended up being probably the last people to be able to film a video inside of the building. I don't know if they're going to open up in the future or what they're going to do with the building, but it is haunted. We did talk to multiple spirits, multiple energies, but as with every single video and investigation, when we're done, the mystery of exactly who or what we're talking to or why it does what it does just continues to deepen and grow. This is the true end of our Kansas series. I cannot thank you guys enough for supporting this series. It did so well. Connor, Papa Spooks, Mama Spooks, and I all thank you so much for tuning in every week and watching. And these next videos, if this video is like this and kind of happy, not too scary, our next video at the Nevada State Prison is like dropping straight down into the depths of hell. Personally, I think the most freaked I've ever been. And you're gonna see it on my face in the footage. But we love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay spooky.
Hello. <laughs>